hotkey. Encoding overloaded. What the fuck does this thing mean? <laughs> I don't speak that shit. Alright, we are, in fact, 100%, finally, after many years of effort in the span of like a week, we are back. I have a sandwich. Oh, oh god! Sandwich. It's been an absolute nightmare. <laughs> it's how do we? I you know, I don't know. Is the <sighs> the truth of the matter? I you know, I don't know. Is the <sighs> the truth of the matter? I... Yo, my Digimon shit itself. I don't even watch my own shit. Got zero whole ass viewers. Nice. This is easier because I don't have to flip flop and flip flip flap out of the. Uh. Hey, can you shrink the borders on that one? Just make it like fucking like thick, like a brick. Can you shrink Do I have the, to? the width? Yeah. Let me open it back up in Photoshop. I just closed everything. What a guy. No. No. Please. Please roll 20, don't crash, not now. We've been through so much together. All goddamn day. It takes me six to seven hours to prepare, and it is an absolute nonsense world. I think I've redone the tokens on Nyx's uh, backstory things like seven times. I cannot access my fucking roll 20. Are we there? <coughs> yeah, somehow I'm using a hundred and ten percent of my processor. What? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stream uh, anything whatsoever? As as how that works. You tell me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Pretty good idea. Use your thick brick. Send it to me. I I, I I hate to say it, but the uploading of the thick brick may in fact fuck me over. May may finally be the it may the straw it might be a tipping point that back. breaks the stream. The, the stream has broken before. Wow. Here, I'm gonna pop it over the mainstream. Hello, everyone. You can see we've uh, popped over to the mainstream. Uh, means absolutely nothing because I'm just going to sling a little image over here. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see if I can find the stream to uh, watch it. Ah, oh, there we are. That's not I will be the one viewer. Not so fast. What if I also viewed it? Jokes on you! I'm already I'm already the first viewer. You flat fuck. Flat Stanley. <laughs> Flat Stanley. This is already looking more Nordic with the uh, runes and the uh, yeah, the new I, border. I, I like what's going on. It needs it needs definite work. Oh, oh, oh baby, no. oh baby. Oh no, the thick brick coming in. Oh, oh. <laughs> she chonky. Oh. Bam! There. <laughs> God. All right. You there we go, it's perfect. It so, so that it's they see the most recent chat entry? Uh, yeah, no, it just needs to scroll down a little bit. That's all it is. I want to see D&D &D Funny Moment. Uh, you want to see D&D &D Funny Man? It's Machi! You've, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> <You've>... <laughs> welcome <laughs> welcome back to the only channel that changes their UI uh, their, every every week. It's Every always, week, you it's lie. always the best looking D&D game, but it changes every week. How you doing today, Machi? Ugh. Yo, I'm gonna go get a drink of water so when we start, I don't choke on my own tongue. You're fine. It, this is just all pre-game anyways. Uh, normally what i do is i go over to the starting screen, put up a whole different thing. Uh... Do, I do a bunch of bullshit normally to have like a cool, like a little jazzy sci-fi intro thing. We're not doing that today. Uh, fuck that. 
I don't get paid enough. I don't get paid enough not to eat on the stream. Hey, all like GM ASMR. Put my little title there. It doesn't matter. This thing's a nightmare, anyways. This is a little out of the usual, but, uh, hello, Lil. How you doing? Hello. I'm nervous. <laughs> That's okay. You have extra reason to be nervous because we're already on stream. I don't do this every day, but I'm lazy as fuck. I did know that already, though. I was watching it. <laughs> I'm, go I'm back. My food away. Speaking of which, <clears throat> just going to go through all of my shit. I'm back and I'm 450% wetter. Uh, all that water. Because if I drank beer on here and fucking dropped the GM, Jesus Christ, it'd be an absolute nightmare. Are you staying hydrated as well? Uh, <laughs> I am, in fact, one of the Hydro homies. <laughs> but are you on r slash sink pissers? <laughs> Why do I need to be on r slash sink pissers if I just do it in real life? Good question. Our so you can share with the world. My life. <laughs> you gotta conserve that water, man. How are you gonna be a real hydro homie if you can't, like... <laughs> if your water bill is too high because you keep pissing in the toilet? <laughs> Reduce, reuse, recycle. I, let me go uh, finagle with some audio settings. You're at 150. Well, why don't you say something real quick? Just, just, hello, just chat hello, it up. Hello, hello, hello. Same words. I haven't... I haven't played yet. This is going to be new and exciting. I mean, I've played the, the game before. I've not played with you guys before. Don't don't is say that... your name. It's got to be a surprise. I know oh, yes. It's a secret. You and me are in the same boat, pretty much, except you know how to play the game. <laughs> uh, I think it's uh, foolish to assume that because <laughs> I have played it, I understand how it works. I mean... I've played for what, like eight years now, and I still fuck up the rules, so no, no big deal. Hey, Zin, how you do? Wait a minute. Okay, still did join. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> I thought I fucked up everything. Everything was terrible again. I've I've been in this seat for eight hours. My <laughs> my ass is sore. My throat is parched. Do you need a minute to go cool down? So, I hope you guys all have a really good game tonight. I'm not going to be able to make it. Something's come up. Uh, everybody have a good night, and I will talk oh, to you shit. later. Oh, shit. No, I'm just fucking with you. Of course. Oh, thank God. You've done it before. <laughs> yeah, literally. I was what? like, this sounds completely in character for who yeah. you are. <laughs> How dare you? I, Damn. It's still, Damn. I, was, I, I was ready. I would be like, all right, my man. You go have yourself a, a, a good one. Jeez. Keep safe. Uh, drink water. <laughs> No, man, I've got I've got my fucking K cup machine next to me that's got the steady supply of, of like shitty low quality cappuccinos straight in my veins. I'm ready. Man. <laughs> I have satellite wafers. Anyone ever eat a satellite wafer? No. <laughs> They're the weirdest fucking candy, and I love them. I had a fresco earlier, and that tells you everything you need to know about me. I have a milkshake, and I'm lactose intolerant. So nice. Yeah. Was that, was that before the game, or? No, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> She's had like a sip so far, so we're just getting into it. Oh no! It's That's... probably gonna make its way to the fridge <laughs> for later. God, I, I steal. I miss the bobblehead so much. All right, I it have touch. I have plugged this channel in every Discord. I feel comfortable doing <laughs> it. <laughs> I just realized you should have organized all of our characters by the color they glow, so we make a nice rainbow if we're all, like, screaming. <laughs> Roy G. Biv. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, I think the uh, only one we're missing is purple, because I'm white. Go send us in the uncomfortable thing. I'd love a furry plug. I, I, I would... <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, you say... can get some fake LGBTQ representation if we have all the fucking colors of the rainbow. Listen, I, I'm not... All I'm saying is... Uh, furries have never done wrong by me. <laughs> they, they've never we done hang up enough flags. pride flags. <laughs> it's gotta be hard being a furry. My heart goes out to them. I support their endeavors. <laughs> I'm 100% sure that there's like a... um. There's gotta be like a Discord 
like OBS stream UI thing where it adds like an actual like a cloth physic little object that kind of flutters around. There's gotta be, right? Oh, probably. Yeah. Oh shit. I only ever knew one furry, uh, and he was a complete asshole. I miss him. <laughs> there we go. I did my. I did my Should best. I just hide in the corner now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye, I'm gonna uh... go hide in the corner now. You like anime and fur? Get the fuck out of here. You're banned. Get the <laughs> fuck out of my game. Uh, I mean, I like anime, but, uh, did... but I'm not furry. Ew, liking anime. Did I tell you guys about That's kind of cringe. Did I tell you guys about the story <laughs> of... Um... So, so I, I usually what I do is I help fix some of my friends' computers every now and again. Uh, if if I can, but there was a guy who had like a terabyte, just a, a pure terabyte of furry porn. How does how do you get something that fills up that much space? Okay, that's that needs uh, fixing. Can't, <sighs> can't <not. laughs> the roll capture. Yep, I'm trying to help. You're, you've done it. Good Would job. Would you like me to explain to you in great detail exactly how you can fill up a terabyte of an external hard drive with furry porn? No! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Back to your corner, Alan. Okay. <laughs> uh, is Lamont the, late? The, the answer is 3D models. Um... Oh. oh. Lamont is... I don't know where he is. It's all good. I mean, we can we can start. Emmy's back. I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been doing? Oh, he said he's gonna probably be late. Traffic is heavy. There we go. Oh shit. Oh well, we don't need to start uh, straight off uh, without him. But I do. I do have a show that needs to go on. So uh, without further ado, I'll do a, a, a very quick roll call, going from left to right. Steel, how are you doing today? I uh, was really looking forward to a D and D campaign today. Um, but I guess I got to settle for yours instead. Hmm. Ugh. Not all. We can't all play Shadowrun one shots. No, it's true. Working. I'm no, no man, longer I'm working. Uh, this if, is it, the second. Go ahead. If, you, if if anyone's interested in the e personality life of Nogo the GM, uh, I just lost my job. Uh, <laughs> so I have a lot more time right. for this. You have to phrase it as like you you have separated from your job, so like it's your decision. You know. I'm not writing my fucking two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> But Steel, uh, who are you going to be playing today? Um, I'm playing Mayrock, who is just a big old bundle of problems. Um, he looks like the most traditional Viking of the group, um, and he is going to speak in the most cringing Batman-style low gravelly voice that I uh, that I can do, uh, and I hate every time I speak. Uh, make sure you do it from the chest, because if you do it at the throat, it can really fuck your shit up. It's awful. I hate that goddamn Batman accent. It's was... the most low-effort character voice, and I'm sticking with it. Cool. That was actually really good. What the fuck? That was yeah. scary. Yeah, uh, Scarecrow. Where? <laughs> uh, I have a lot of practice uh, making low, growly, semi-terrifying voices, because <laughs> I used to work at a... Uh, uh, horror Thanks. attraction for Halloween. Oh, that's okay. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Uh, Nix, Nixie, and Lil. Uh, I will get to you in a bit. You're you're gonna be our our big boom. But uh, ah, she great. But Koo, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I just spent most of the day uh, kicking people's uh, shit in while playing uh, Legends of Ruterra, So that's what I was doing. I've gotten really into Gwent. Yeah, like, I was way too hard i found out that league of legends uh has a seasonal tournament well, legends of ruterra has a seasonal tournament that the top prize is ten thousand dollars and i'm like oh maybe i should start playing this game again <laughs> all i gotta do is qualify is get good your you body is today, purple Kim? and you should never share it with anyone who plays league of legends i am going to <laughs> I am going to be playing Astrid, who, uh, contrary to last session, is going to be very in-your-face and very spunky. She just, uh, 
she she realized I can kick ass at a young age, and that's just given her the confidence she needs to just tell people to go shove their uh, toxic masculinity where the sun don't shine. <laughs> For the patriarchy? Yeah, the patriarchy. Vinny. That's not bad. I know how I you've been today. We've we've spent the last like three so, hours together. Yeah, let me allow me to uh, let every fill in everyone. Uh, I woke up three hours ago and have been put to work for three hours, and now I'm here. <laughs> How's the stream you look? Like? Doesn't look like, look nice. It looks real nice. He Please. wouldn't let me make my uh, title say Jonathan the Art Slave, but uh, that's how I Hard. feel. Let it be said on record that I oppose to Astrid not reflecting the fact that she is, in fact, in character, 11 and a half feet tall. Excuse you, six and a half feet tall. God damn it, hey. I was right. I'm six feet. What? Look at all these tall women. Wait. Nixie, not me. Oh, I am okay. five feet. F thank God. <laughs> I was about to say, I can't take it anymore being five seven. Oh. This is terrible. Yeah, uh... No, oh, no, I'm going to so, make your life worse. So short than I'm, uh, I'm 6'5 in real life. I didn't um, I didn't make Astrid my height. I rolled her height, and she ended up being 6'5. I'm 6'3. God damn it. God it's damn it. Ass, you know what? Uh, fuck, you, fuck you, Zen. What are you doing today? <laughs> uh, my partner got me in Quake Champion, so I've been playing that all day. <laughs> oh my god. I need to go play. I need to go play Universal Paperclips right now. Why? I have a fever. That only Universal Paperclips can cure. It's really good. It I is. It's great. And Zen, who are you going to be playing today? <laughs> uh, I'm going to be playing Alan, who is a new and aspiring Godai. Am I pronouncing that right? No, you got it right. Godai. You're a Godai. You Godai. are you you are one of the Godai. Uh, this this magical people who uh, secular, thankfully, thank God. Uh, no, secular people who uh, possesses magic, much like a magical guild. But you perform very important services throughout the kingdom and uh, make sure that the cultural norms are upheld and things are as they should be. It means you also deal with a lot of magical artifacts and <laughs> relics that you might be able to possess. That's the point. <laughs> That's my goal. Uh, my sister can handle all the, uh, the public stuff. That's right, your sister. Why don't I go ahead and pull a picture up of her? Uh, last we remembered. And if I recall, last we left off, everybody was doing their solo sessions. You had some, some were kids, some were only a few months in the past, some were days in the past. Little sister Sip Sissel. Look at her. She's ten. How does that even work? You're seventeen. How does that even work? You're gonna die. Uh, not if I can help it. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I've cut the music. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. I can't hold for my man anymore, but he will be here. I hope. Eh, we should talk we about. Uh, the two other characters, even if one of them is talking about them behind their back, though. No, no, no. We'll, we'll have plenty of time to talk about the two other characters. Uh, okay. Boros, I, I, I want him to explain himself. That's how I want everybody to try to handle their stuff, is explain yourself and do your own little thing. But right now, uh, we're going to have plenty of time to get acquainted with our newest member. Hello. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so That's combat has started. Boat. <laughs> it's fun. I love that for me. Um, <laughs> let's open my character sheet, I guess. Um, am I am I rolling for initiative? You definitely are. Okay, great. I gotta make sure everything's working right. Oh lord. I gotta make sure I can find an issue on my character sheet. Yeah, I found it. I gotta... I hate this. 
I love how Nixie's face has that that overwhelming I'm already done with this shit look, which is so perfect for this opening for her. Uh I mean she did just roll in that one. I didn't fix the turn order thing. I knew I forgot something. Let's just pop that over here. <laughs> All right. So first thing you're going to do anytime you're doing initiative is uh, when you click it in the sheet, uh, you can click, click on your token. token. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. It's not like I've had a chance to figure that out for months. Well, it didn't do much better anyway. <laughs> I'll leave it. Real good. Rolled a two <laughs> that time. That's like double what you got before. <laughs> Uh, I love the optimism. Took a trait to make my initiative better, and this is what has happened to me. Just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna keep them a little grouped up. God, I feel like I'm playing Shadowrun. Look at that big old turd. Look at that big boy. Sorry, traffic was a bitch. I like the shark guy energy at the end there. Welcome back, uh, Boros. I'm I'm doing some shit right now. So why uh, don't you, my man, Berserk? How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Traffic extra shitty. For some reason, everybody was on the fucking road. <sighs> all right. I guess it is Saturday night. You find yourself in the middle of the sea, uh, being torn uh, to and fro in the depths of this, uh, not a storm per se, it's just that the, the creature on the back is, is uh, it seems this massive turtle-like creature that your ship is on is tossing to and fro as a battle rages on uh, just above it. These large fish-like creatures wielding spears in their hands have jumped straight onto your deck and are immediately assailing your crew. Your mother and your father are both locked into the, he the heat of combat. Uh, your father swinging a massive hefty anchor around towards the fish and battering them to and from the side and off the ship. You are currently at the wheel, uh, the back of the uh, the back of the ship, this little command station that helps you uh, send these little magical messages to your ship. But you can see two fishmen making their way up this tiny little set of stairs, and it is your turn. Uh, I wait. Can I do this? Um, <laughs> yes, twenty-five feet. Yeah. Um, I would like to uh cast uh charm animal on on this little guy over here if he counts as an animal um what are you trying to charm say it again just bring it again me? sorry i have to i have to look charm. between like four screens so yeah no problem uh this guy the one on the right um and yeah i have charm animal for just amphibious creatures or just for aquatic creatures Unfortunately, that will not uh, be able yeah. to succeed, uh, but I will let you go ahead and make, it, make a different spell. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> These are... Uh... Oh, God. These are lurkers. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go see what I actually named these goddamn things. These are lurking like yourself. I did a, a ranged uh, snowball touch attack uh, for the same one, guy on the right. I need to make these bigger. All right, you uh, you start conjuring this mass of snow into your hands and pack it tightly, and you just huck it at this guy with a DC 13 fort for partial. Let's try it. Uh, first, uh, first to hit, then DC. Yeah, fort. exactly. Uh, the, the fort is for after. I still have to do the touch attack. On a successful hit, they have to make the fortitude, so I didn't and even hit. No, that is a successful hit. Oh, the 10? Oh, good. <laughs> these guys are uh, very lumbering and slow, and you can see that they're they're plated with these very heavy scales, but they're very... What? We staggered. Excellent. What? <laughs> you sent it to recorder. And he is not staggered, but he is, in fact, uh, completely wiped. 
he, he, he goes sprawling down the, uh, the ship stairway, and you can see that he just clonks his head down at the bottom. He's gonna take... Oh. <laughs> You're still, 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 still. Nixie's gonna... Oh, R.I.P. Okay. No, it's, it's still your turn. Sorry. Oh, okay. My bad. No, that's okay. No, I think I just talked over you while you were talking that I didn't hear you. Um, so Nixie is going to uh, take a step over this way, and I think she's just going to kind of, like, bear down, uh, like, bending her knees a little bit. Her her one fist is out. Her She only has uh, half an arm for her for her left, and she's just going to kind of snarl at the at the lurkin uh, to her left, or the lurkin to her left. Give me an intimidate. And that's my turn. Yeah, sure. With no skill. I, I don't mind if you have it or not. I think you have it. <laughs> I do. I do have it. Yeah. Uh you can see this this little uh this little his little bass face go. <laughs> and he uh he seems like he's very ill persuaded towards uh chasing you back down. Your father, uh, this big beast of a man, uh, with a massive anchor axe, uh, as he likes to call it, it's really just an anchor, uh, hefts it to and fro and cleaves through one, two, three. W one fish goes down towards the bottom of the deck, this one goes off, this one goes off, and this one just barely ducks under it because the other three slowed it down. And they dive back down underwater. This oh, is your mother. Uh, nice. Mer Mary, uh, as she very gracefully, very deftly, you can see that she's working a, a, a cutlass on this one, parrying all of his incoming blows as the uh, as the fish seems to try to dance around it with a, with a spear. And then he, she quickly throws a snowball, much like yourself, directly into its face. And it just immediately plops down. The Hlurkin go to beset the rest of the crew. Rabble, 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 rabble. Uh, this one is still ill-persuaded, so he's going to try to reach you from this far and take a little poke at you with his spear. If I can get that with how shitty they are. It's a five hit. Absolutely not. Get wrecked. Dodged. Crew does their thing. Your turn again. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Nix is a, a woman of, of many talents, so uh, she's going to uh, rear back and begin to uh, create another snowball in her hands and, and throw it at, at this lurkin as well. Uh, oh no! A four to touch will not successfully hit. Your snowball goes sailing over and you can see it hits the flipper of the big beast and it lets out a big groveling. Fortunate. Um, then yeah, I think she'll just take... Uh, I think she'll stand her ground, actually. Uh, she's not going to take a step back. She doesn't want to look like she's she's not. Uh, she doesn't want to look intimidated, so she's just going to hold there. Now I, I'll tell you a couple of features that I, I should have told you in the first round. Now, but up here by <laughs> the uh, by the deck where you're at, you can see that there seems to be a number of ropes tied to a center pole in the ship. You don't have need for sails with your with your large sea beast creature, but they're usually used for getting around. <laughs> and assailing other ships. So at any time that you would like, you can switch from this deck to anywhere else along this path. Alrighty. Um, at your own I wish. still think... Uh, thank you. I think I will stay here for now, but thank you for letting me know. Oh god. I didn't practice the voice. <laughs> your father, eschewing his anchor, drops it down stone onto the onto the uh, the ship. You can see where the uh, the wooden boards splinter underneath the weight of his weapon, and he grabs the Hulurkin just outright, lifting it above his head and just shouting out, "Get off my ship, you scotty lugs!" <laughs> and hurls him over towards the direction of you and sailing clean over your head. 
just just out of the park. She kind of turns and, and waves to him as as they <laughs> sail over her, her head. She's probably seen this a few times before. She's used to them getting tossed around. And your mother uh, very, very daintily is going to swing over on one of the ropes and she... Uh, she can. She climbs. She jumps up a little bit. Climb. Clambers onto it. Kicks off the pole and slides over to uh, make a pass at the fish. But unfortunately, she misses. And this one is going to step away. He pulls his his little short pole uh, shorter and tries to prod you in the ankles. <laughs> Moving on. Absolutely not. <laughs> This one goes down, and this crewman goes down. <gasps> Your turn again. All right. Um, I think uh, now that the uh, the lurkin has moved into her space, uh, she's gonna say, uh, "Bad idea, pal," um, and she's gonna reach out and use dehydrating touch, which I believe I did not. Uh, do properly, so I'm gonna have to make my own attack. Um, I think. Oh, rip. So just okay. an attacker would be 1d20 plus dex for your. For Thank your you. Attack. Is it dex or would it be, uh, I don't know, does touch go off strength? Can it? Uh, with the elephant of the room tax, um, unarmed and touch is, is connect or treated to be finessable. I just know if Dex was her higher, but that's fine. Oh shit. So yeah, either or. Hey. And I think we're also treating basically any non weapon thing as though it is Really excellent. A whole a whole seven. Seven for a touch. touch attack though. Uh give me an additional one D twenty. Unfortunately, this little uh, this little uh, flabbing creature, uh, <laughs> you you would have dodged he would have dodged you clean, but his his little uh, his moist little stumps of feet trip him into your attack. Your dehydrating touch uh, slaps him directly onto the head, and you can see his uh, his eyeball just seems to suck into the back of his head. And he starts screaming uh, in an, just an absolute fury. He takes five lethal damage. And combat is ended. <laughs> Rip. Back. Music. Oh. Uh, as as this little screaming, wailing thing uh, drops to the ground, uh, the rest of everyone else who had taken a fall goes ahead and gets up. Uh, a very a very precarious, worried look on their face. And uh, your mother your mother quickly rushes over to uh, to see what's going on uh, and, and and sees that his his eyeball is not looking too worse for wear after this uh, this little dramatic reenactment that you guys have had. Uh, and quickly ushers some of the two other crewmen, your own crewmen, of course, uh, to usher them back down into the deck to get rehydrated. <laughs> your mother gives you a reassuring pat in the shoulder and says, Don't worry, dear. It wasn't anything that was your fault. I Still. Didn't look... mean to go quite so hard. It is what it is. You don't play, uh, you don't play on a pirate ship and not expect to get hurt as it is. Speaking of, your uh, father jumping down from the uh, the top deck and uh, another splinter of the wood as he picks up his axe and he lets out another boisterous laugh. <laughs> That's my little guppy. Thanks. Fierce. Violent. <laughs> You'll make a good pirate yet. What do you mean by yet? I thought it was doing pretty good already, but <laughs> thanks mm. all the same. These are safe waters. Head down north where I was born. Fresh water, 
down by Noct, the Aramentine. Whole another she beast, that is. He hefts his anchor back off to the side, a little chain. Uh, your big beast uh, that took the snowball hit lets out a little reassuring groan that he's all right. And uh, the <laughs> the storm, storm that you were being assailed by calms as you come back into the uh, the very even seas of Thralisgard, the land which you are currently in. Things. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say. I think Nixie uh, takes a moment to kind of uh, look around, like the seas and and her surroundings, and just kind of like take a breath in the sea air and and just kind of uh, let it all in. <clears throat> Your mother goes back to. Uh navigating the course with the beast. Uh, it's a pretty easy one, considering you're just skirting along the barrier islands, but uh, your father comes in, uh, puts one just absolutely meaty hand onto your back, mm -hmm. and uh, looks out himself and says, uh, Been here at least 20 years, I have, and still, you never get tired of the sight. Beautiful, isn't it? I I could imagine standing out here and looking out for hours. I would like you to see the homelands one day. This land here, as I said, she's a different beast. Tamer, but she's got dangers of herself. Dangers still, I'm not quite sure you're ready yet. That gives a little, uh, a joking prod at the base of your, a base of your neck, basically just pushing you back a little bit. I think Nixie rolls her eyes a little bit, but she, she kind of nods and she goes, I hope to visit on my own one day. <laughs> Someday, sure. Still, this... At least the sailing that we're having now isn't too bad. We're going back to Frost Island, aren't we? He looks back to uh, Mary for reassurance. <laughs> and giving a slight nod. I'll go ahead and really quickly, while I have the spare time between this next sentence, and give the full pictures for Hakarl Egerson. Known uh, as the shark, you couldn't fathom why. And your mother? Mary. Or Mary. The uh, the tongue of the, the Hakarl, the Harlurkers, are not so uh, refined as to pick up the foreign name of that of your mother. <laughs> Still, though, he gives you a reassuring nod and, and says, hmm, Tell me, how many years has it been since we've been back towards the Frost Islands? Has to have been at least a little bit. I remember you were no bigger than my knee at the time. Don't... I don't think I've been there since I was a child, no. Uh, I still remember it, uh, fondly. <laughs> yes, I remember well. You were a wee tyke. I remember the lord of the place let you, go, let you have your way of the place. I think he took a shine in towards you. Yeah, well, you were doing who knows what. <laughs> Honest business. Honest business, all of it. Speaking of... Spare me a moment, love. And uh, he makes his way back down towards the ship, and he brings out this massive cask. <laughs> you hold on to this, solid. Right? Can you? Yes, of course. Uh, why? <laughs> Gift for the local lord. We're still going to be doing plenty of business, but way as I hear it, they're having themselves a little bit of a party for the oldest boy. Um, I remember him still. What's his name? Black, lap, leaf, something of the sort. Weren't you sweet <laughs> on the boy? Uh, um, 
I I think you're misremembering. Uh, <laughs> I'll... Shame that it's shame it's his wedding. Still, I think you could at least make a nice <laughs> gesture with this barrel of ale, eh? All right, uh, will do. Uh, thank you, Father. Of course, sweet little guppy. <laughs> After this, I think we'll be making our way towards Thresspire. Maybe looking into making, maybe looking to make form in a fleet. Wouldn't mind a dinghy I'm... yourself, would you? <laughs> no, uh, I would not mind. I think it's about time I had a ship of my own. <laughs> Ambitious. I'll make a pirate of you yet. <laughs> All right. Pick up anchors. Next stop, the Frost Islands. Go ahead, Nixie, and before we leave, I'd like you to give me a little bit of perception check. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, just short. You, uh, you, you, you take the ale. Uh, how, how do you, how do you pick up? This is a pretty big cask. Yeah, it's, I it, guess she would, she would have to, like, hold it between, like, she'd have to use her, like, chin to help her hold it up. Um, just kind of, like, grasping it with her, her one arm, uh, surrounding it. Okay, I, I kind of see what you're going for there. So you, you do, take it do in Do it your best. <laughs> You hear something sloshing around in there, but you don't pay it no notice, and uh, go about the rest of your duties as you take way towards Frost Island. Is there anything that you'd like to do, or anyone you'd like to talk to before we move on? I think so. I think... Yeah, I think she she's she's ready to get going. Alright. We'll climb up the rigging and get to your position, because onwards, Frost Island. Get a nice jazzy theme going on. Everyone some real bops Nord. today. Everyone knows the Nords are known for their sweet, smooth jazz. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to refocus on another person. My god, she's all grown up. Describe yourself, Ku, as you are wearing a wedding dress, and currently you are being groomed by your nursemaid. Uh, so, she's wearing a fairly simple uh, white uh, gown with a... Uh, it's, it's not ostentatious, because, you know, she is coming from the church, and using church funds to pay for this dress. So, not ostentatious. Um, it is accented with a little bit of uh, gold jewelry that goes down into the... <clears throat> goes down over the cleavage. And, uh... She is just kind of fussing at the dress right now, just like... <sighs> can't move in this thing. Oh, quiet down then, lass. More Gudrid as she stands over you, making sure that everything is nice and right, correcting your jewelry, getting your makeup correct, making sure that your hair is nice and, and, and tussled. <sighs> if you just stop fussing for a minute, I could go ahead and get everything nice and ready. Please, it's a lord's wedding. You think you're gonna? You think you're gonna come in here like it's a nice sun, uh, a Sunday brunch? Look, he 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 knows what he knew what he was getting when he when he decided on marrying a church girl. Not even, not even just a church girl, a war priest. More war priest. I don't want to hear you spouting those words around here. He, the Lord, got a nice church girl. You've not seen no wars. You've not heard no wars. You don't even know what the word war is. As far as I'm concerned, you're an absolute little saintess. She just rolls her eyes. Stop fussing. Come here. Uh, she she takes she, she takes your cheeks into her hands. Uh, she she's still been looking at you through the mirror and everything and trying to get everything nice and tussled. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, she's just kind of looking in your eyes, giving you a once-over, uh, and just gives a light. 
clap of the cheeks. Oh, that's my girl. <sighs> Are you done preening over me now? Can I breathe? Oh, just let me have this. Never in all my days would I think that a girl of the, of the Great Hills Daughters would ever aspire to anything so great. <laughs> to marry the old, the old Lord of Frost Island's son. And to think that they'd even request you. Would they even have a chance to meet someone like you? I don't know, Alice. I, it was Uncle Leaf that set this up, you remember? True enough. <sighs> Maybe he... Uh, he probably just talked up my virtues uh, when he was drunk. And they just made the deal. They were probably in their tankets. Last thing I want to be doing is selling you over cards. As that's the best way that I can imagine Leaf having anything to do with this. But oh, you think he, you think he's selling me off as a as a gambling debt? Oh, that, that does sound like him a bit. <laughs> he, he never had any luck with the cards. She, Worst she... luck with the dice. At least she, <laughs> at least he could cheat with the cards. All right. Enough fussing with that. Look, it's your big day. Way I figure it, once the man comes in himself, big General, uh, General Lepinol, you put on a big smile, put on a big show, and your life all begins from there. How are you feeling, Astrid? A bit miffed. Nobody asked me if, what I wanted in the first place, but, you know, that's just normal around here. It's because you're still a youth, girl. Listen, a couple of years time, you'll have yourself a, a few sprouts of your own, and you'll be—you'll just be bounding and joyful in this big old mansion of yours. Life set up, things carefree, a whole world away from the problems of the church. This truly is the best for you. You know that, yeah? She sighs. I, I understand. So many people would kill for what I'm getting, but why can't one of them have it? It's not what I want. Because they didn't ask for them, they asked for you. Take at least a little bit of pride in that, won't you? Come then. Suppose. The guests are about to arrive, and we need to go. We need to go make proper greetings to the Lord. Gotten here in the night through all the fuss, you know. All right, and she as she uh, goes to walk, her hand automatically goes to her side to uh, ensure her. Sh sword sheath would bang on anything you know the one that's not there she's like oh. <laughs> so used to ha resting my hand on it it's not there ah, take your hand off your thigh you look like a <laughs> you look like a night girl she's <laughs> not knowing what to do with her hands just kind of crosses her arms <laughs> Um, I'll give you a little description. You're, you are in a guest room of the Lord's Manor, uh, a massive two-story beast uh, built on a small, isolated island out in the middle of the barriers. Mm -hmm. As isolated as one can be, yet nearest to the heart of Wolanti is where the Lord Throki serves your new father-in-law. Well, to be. Mm hmm You've not seen of the man you're to marry. You barely know about him. Uh, and, and nobody can offer anything other than what seems like absolute sugar-coated praise. Uh, he seems to be some sort of big war hero in the war uh, about ten years prior. You'll recall yeah, you, you were there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they were talking about how he fought off 20 men at once. I did that. And I was a 13-year-old girl. Why do you keep talking about that? Absolute nonsense, girl. Wash your head of it. I can still see I didn't ru run your mouth out with enough soap. <sighs> well, you can't do it now, otherwise you'll have to reapply the makeup. <laughs> <sighs> Quit your smart alecan. If... Come on. <laughs> she just smiles and follows. All right. Shoo. It seems that uh, your preparations... Oh, God, that looks terrible. <laughs> I 
I didn't realize that when I did the the hover overs that the thing would be so eh, whatever you come down through the uh, the stairwell mm -hmm. oh that makes me that makes me hurt what I I have to have two recording things open I need to have two roll 20s open at any given time but I can't interchangeably <laughs> use them <laughs> So I so I'm trying to slide tokens into one screen onto the other and it's just fucking me up the whole time. <laughs> In fact, I, I I put your tokens down again and I'm not even on the right page. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Third time. Yes. You come down the stairs and you hear the hustle and bustle of nobility coming in. It seems the party has almost already started. Uh, there doesn't seem to be uh, any sign of the groom in particular, but the lord of the manor, uh, Lord Throki Throkison, uh, stands at the head of a table telling stories of his time before the war almost 30 years ago. They call him the old... They call him the old Iron Hand, of course, and he's regaling them with his time at sea and all sorts of other things. And, of course, the uh, the noble crowd looks at him in speckled awe. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's a group of chattering noble ladies all over the place, but uh, you're free to go wherever you want with the moor. But you are advised to introduce yourself. Probably. So, in order to... In order to get in here, I'd have to go through here. So, she's gonna start by heading over this way, and as she passes these two people, she... Uh, she turns to them and greets them politely, you know, bowing her head a little bit, whatever is appropriate. Give me a perception check. Okay. I think I use and abuse the perception sometimes. Let me get my sheet open. Is that what help? This is the esports you came for. Yeah, this is the esports we came for, man. Uh, my <laughs> perception. That's right. I I don't have any. I don't have any. So it's just this. Ah. You offer uh, polite greetings to the two noble ladies, the two faceless noble women, um, and, and of course they offer it back, uh, uh, politely calling you. Lady Throkison now, uh, pre pre preemptively. Uh, how, how do you feel about that? Uh, she, she has to actively hide the s sort of rolling her eyes. It's like I'm not in her head. She's thinking loudly. Not even married yet. But I, she outwardly says, "Thank you, thank you. It's uh, it's wonderful to be here." And as you pass by, you hear them return back to their chittering as they go and talk about all of the rumors of court. Uh, mostly you. And they will, uh, they, they will offer, it's like, could you believe that the hero is, could you believe that the hero is marrying someone as bland as her? That's so tall and crude. No, I've heard stories about the, the great hero Lep. Lep. Lek. I've heard stories about the great hero Lek. He he's the one that broke the river and st stopped that whole army. Ah, oh, what I would do to marry a man of his position. A nice place at court, a great inheritance, and a war hero. It's wasted on her. <laughs> so she has her hand on the door, pauses, and just says just loudly enough for them to hear. It's really unfortunate uh, if if I'm the one marrying him. What does that say about the state of the noble ladies these days? And then I walk in. <laughs> just just a look of shock appall as you close the door behind you. <laughs> <sighs> you enter into the main room uh, where it seems that Lord Lord Throkison, I will now go ahead and uh, give his little blurb blurb blurb. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> You walk in to see that there is a number of people, but at the head of the table, uh, standing and, and raising his his glass and just uh, a big swaying appearance as he tries to as he's holding everyone captive with a story and uh, 
he, 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 he stops it with a, he's like, and then I swung from the chandelier and said, I'm the swinger! And the whole crowd just lifts off into a boisterous applause of his, uh, his great regaling story of the war. Throki, uh, is himself, uh, not actually that tall. I'd say he's probably about 5'10 ish or so. A uh, very thin, slender build. Age has really taken it out on him. You can tell that he's definitely in his later 50s. But he has very long golden hair and he wears a but a, a crown, something unthinkable for some of the some of the lords of the of the Wolanti. Some are so poor that they could never muster anything like nice jewelry or a manor like this, but he's wealthy, uh, knowing he's considered to be very knowledgeable in the esoteric and in the, the planes of magic, and is a war hero by the name of the Iron Hand. Mm. So? Ah! The Lady of the Hour! Come, young Astrid, please! Why don't you take a seat at the table? So... She automatically does what she's been doing, rather than the feminine curtsy, she bows to him, and then realizes what she did and turns it into a curtsy halfway through very awkwardly. He shows no signs of a crack, uh, seeming to be very, very pleased to see you here, uh, and offers to bring one of the, uh, the, serving, the serving boys to bring you some uh, something to drink. I had a token for them around here somewhere. Let me go snatch one up. So which seat did he indicate I should sit at? Uh, end of the table. That's surprising. I would have expected that's where his son would sit. His son is not here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, when he gets here, I imagine the seat would be safe. Just and sitting down. A, a, a servant. Servant quote unquote this is a thrall mm -hmm. comes to bring you a glass of sea lord's wine grown all the way in the far lands of adamantine where uh, olives and grapes and all sorts of things grow so she looks down the table what are the men drinking gonna take a while guess mead uh, there's definitely some tankers of ale around here, but you can see that it's kind of interspersed here and there. Some are drinking wine, some are drinking mead, some are drinking beer. What is the Lord drinking? The Lord is drinking wine. Okay, then I'll take the cup of wine. Although she does prefer mead, but... She'll make do. You're already changing for your man. Pray tell, young Astrid. I hope that the travels here far across the sea were not too unfortunate, were they? Uh, nothing too eventful, unfortunately. Would have uh, liked a little bit of action before I have to retire from my married life. <laughs> In the lap of luxury and you want action. I think that you'll be a perfect fit for my boy. <sighs> if only he weren't so late. Tell me, young Astrid, I was in hopes that your uncle would be coming here. Has he not sent a message saying where he might be? Has he? He is not. <laughs> well, my uncle, as you well know, is a notorious vagabond and shows up when he pleases. He might be here tonight, might not. Depends on how open your, uh, your, uh, your liquor uh, stores are for him. You, 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 you say vagabond, and you can see that the whole table seems to be going a little bit, uh, a little bit pale uh, with this very boorish language. But the Lord shows no signs of cracking, mm -hmm. and and says, "Just like him, then, is it? Why, I haven't seen him in so many years. It was kind of him to introduce such a bright young thing to me." I'm really quite surprised to be here, uh, honestly. Uh, wh what, pray tell, did uh, my uncle manage to sell you on? Ah, oh, nothing quite so serious. Please, no need to talk business at the table, is there? No, I'm just curious, is all. She takes a sip of her wine. Well, 
let it be said that I did him a number of favors in the past. He did not sell you to me to exchange those favors. Rather, you were the favor in and of itself. I've been looking for some, a bright young thing for my boy for some time now, bored that he is. I do think the war has taken to him quite hardly, and maybe a life at home would give him the ease that he so seeks. It's just nodding, trying to think of how to respond to that one. I understand it might not be so common where you're from, but let me be rest assured. Things of arrangement are not so scary here. I do understand how one might feel, but please, rest be assured you are just as one of us as my own son to me. Welcome to our family. To your health! And the rest of the nobles immediately join in. Uh, you can see that most of them are mostly just doing it to basically butter up to the lord. Mm -hmm. And a, a resounding, to your health, goes around the table. Just lifts the glass and then a response. And to yours, uh, dear father. <laughs> she already calls me father. What a wonderful, a wonderful, delightful young thing. And conversation quickly goes back and you can see that uh it does seem that a, a number of nobles seem to be going intermittently around the different rooms and freely going from and to the table as you want uh with a couple of uh notable faces seem to be sat at the table as well but otherwise you are free to leave anytime that you want you can see that more gudrid is patiently standing at the door waiting for you mm -hmm. so she would stay as long as feels Proprietary is the, I guess, the word? Required? Required. Proper. And before she leaves, she... I was hoping to see my future husband today. Is he... Very busy? He is always fashionably late. As it were. He'll be here in no time. Words have already been sent that Lulanti, Lulanti warships have been sent towards the island. It seems that my own boy can't trust me without bringing a whole garrison to his own. Just nodding. So. In time. He should be here within the evening. Why don't you find something to delight yourself with? I shall see if I can find any distractions. She moves the chair back and stands up. Wonderful child. And how did it go? Ah, uh, he seems to like me. I... Well, heaven knows why. No squirks, no no slight glances, no tiny little taps of the fingers. Nothing nothing noble that they might set off, yes? Uh, the other nobles maybe, but not him. <sighs> Thank goodness. Alright, child. I have one thi last thing to entrust to you. You can go ahead and run it back up to your room if you'd like. But, I was given very explicit instruction. Your, and, what's, and what's that? Your mother unravels a, uh, a, a little package. Uh, it seems to be uh, wrapped in some sort of like a, a brownish paper. Mm -hmm. And uh, tied up with twine. But uh, she gives it to you. A wedding gift from your uncle, it seems. I'm afraid he's not going to be here. Yes, why would he? He's only uh, giving me away. <laughs> Just smiles bitterly. But he did say that that thing was very important, and it's special to him, so it'd be special to you. You know his type. I Did he prefer me open it in my room, or...? No, nothing else that he said. Really as you wish. Just consider it a good wedding gift, all right? Hopefully it's something nice. Maybe he got you uh, another uh, makeup kit or something that's not strange and esoteric. Based on the weight of it, what does it feel like? Uh, It's not too heavy. Uh, probably around 10-ish uh, pounds. It's pretty big. It's a rectangular uh, kind of kind of packing. So she's uh, you gonna... Can, you can feel something heavy that is, like, not 
flush with the rest of the uh, of the items. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna undo the packaging, take a look, and see what it is. All right. And allow me to present the linchpin of the game. You find a leather-bound book, uh, titleless. It seems to have a couple of iron clamps and clasps here, and it seems to be iron clasped. Uh, you can't actually tell the contents, as a massive padlock has been affixed around this little uh, joining part. The what would you call it? Where where, where a lock meets, really? Mm-hmm. There's a there's a big padlock around the class that looks extremely sturdy and extremely old. Oh, uh, probably sent the key to my future husband. You know, a gift that requires the two of us to be together. Do you peg your uncle for being that sentimental? I peg him for being uh, that esoteric. <sighs> One thing that you can rely on. All right, child. I'm gonna go now. You're gonna be okay, yes? I I should be fine. Good luck. Yeah. And I can't wait for you to see him. But she makes her way. You can see her tip tapping up the stairs in her dress. Mm -hmm. just... So she's just gonna kind of. What kind of lock is it? Is it a simple key where a uh, simple lock where any key will fit? Unfortunately not. You can see that the uh, the thing is... It, calling it a padlock would be uh, generous, given that it, it, it seems to be a big iron box that has three holes pronged into, onto the either end of it. Or not either end, sorry, uh, just on one end. Whatever key opens this, it's got to look very abstract. Uh, of course... He wouldn't give me something I can actually look at. Maybe while away the time. No, I have to uh, have to be a riddle. And she just tucks it under her arm and heads up to her room to just put it away for now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch switch gears here for a minute. Mm -hmm. As we are going to go down, down, down. To the very depths of the manor. The dungeon. Uh, ignore this. I forgot to fuck it and do it, right? I cry. There we are. Boros! Hi. It's been five days. You have not eaten a thing. You have barely drank a thing. There, There's just the slightest bit of frost that seems to uh, drip down from the walls uh, where there must be a leak upstairs, the snow uh, melting down, and you've been just licking that from the walls to keep yourself hydrated and keep from dying. You were in a cold stone cell with nothing but a bit of straw padding at the bottom of it for you to sleep on. Across from you, uh, over a hall, a very damp looking hall, you can see Aethwind, or Ollie, your good friend, uh, seems to be completely unconscious. You have been here, as I said, five days. Before this, you, years ago, two years now, you caught a ship off from the island of Nott, uh, trying to flee from your unsuccessful battle, uh, and an unsuccessful refugee ship, and were sunk and washed up ashore in Thralisgard, where you, you have been a slave to Master Throki for two years. Things, despite how they seem now, were in fact quite good. He, he had promised you a small section of land on the outcrop of the island where you could successfully grow minor things like potatoes and uh, just, just, just nice little crop foods, clear the land, make your own timber. And provided that you make enough income, he promised that you would have your own freedom. But five days ago, the captain of the guard, known only as... Uh, 
fuck they call his ass. <laughs> what his name? Raven, the Captain Raven, came onto your little farm, clubbed you both in the back of the head, and dragged you here. Eighth Wind seems to be showing some small signs of consciousness if you'd like to talk to him as he seems to groggily awake. You're still alive, brother. Ugh. I'm not sure. Can't feel my ass, my fingers, or my ears. I'm pretty sure they're freezing off. Does that mean we can eat them? I wouldn't recommend it. <sighs> Somehow it still surprises me you're the smart one. His skeleton-like figure pulls himself up from the dungeon and clanks himself up onto the, uh, to the rattling cage. <sighs> they still haven't told us what we did. <laughs> Remember. You're, you're oh, really quiet. Yeah, I don't know speaking well. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I can get a little bit more pronounced. I've got you in 200, so I don't think I can make you any louder. So, okay. Yeah, there you go. Also move my, I also moved my mic up, so. Perfect. Um, <sighs> Remember, brother, it's not about what you did as a slave. It's about whatever you, they thought you were supposed to do, and then you didn't. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I'm starting to think all you humans ever do was... Break your word. <laughs> Some days I agree with you. Give me a perception check. Can do. Did That's I close be... Boris's sheet? Yes, yes I did. One second. Well, that was very silly of you. Oh, how dare you. God, this even sounds miserable. You can't even hear any of the jaunty Norse music from upstairs. Wild. Hmm. Give him a minute. Let's see. What's on my schedule? Yeah, I oh, there we go. You found it. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot. It's just that. <laughs> Went and looked <laughs> for no reason. Is it just a Z20? It's plus one. <laughs> All right, throw it. Twelve. Well, you're not able to make out too many sounds, but you are able to make out what seems to be the sounds of uh, keys rattling, the, 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 the clash of chain as these big rusty iron gates swing open and someone else is being thrown into the dungeon with you and along with someone else Alan oh hey it's me uh, I'm going to reduce your HP because it is one uh, as you are beaten bloody and bruised uh, a very noble regal looking woman with a uh, very white pitch hair and a very stern looking face uh, comes to trudge you along into the uh, throw you back into a cell uh, along with what seems to be the ugliest half orc you've ever seen uh, which is very few because you've only seen one half orc and it's him <laughs> you say what you is most, most, the most beautiful and ugliest thing you've ever seen here is Ma Captain Raven, and of course the lovely mistress, Lady Mactear. Oh God, why do you make me suffer, game? Would you like to play a game? Try using roll twenty without a bug, <laughs> or your arms get cut off. <laughs> And uh, 
the two of you, Boros and uh, Aethwald, I'm talking to myself, are able to see the lady as she uh, the, she struts forwards and announces to the uh, to the guard captain, and throw him into this cell, and hook, <laughs> and the, the the gate slams shut behind you, Alan, and you uh, you, you just barely just, awake. Just face first on the ground. <laughs> uh. All alone at 2500. Yeah, man. Good. Maybe that'll give you some time to cool off with the other degenerates. Good attempt to sit up. Explain to me what I did again. Why you don't remember attacking the Lord? What a precarious memory you have. You see, we offered you to come here in hopes that maybe you'd be able to officiate this wedding, but I suppose some customs just need to be broken. Especially when assassins are in our midst. The, uh, the half-orc lets out just a... <laughs> and he, he has a large whip in his hands that seems to be made of banded steel, and he just cracks it. Excuse me, I, this might be the concussion talking, but I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. <sighs> Fine, I will explain, if only for posterity and only so the other degenerates here can understand exactly what you did. You, the Godai, have come here to officiate the wedding, sneak among the people and say that... Poor little boy Lek is as good as everyone claims, and then he won't be a wife-beater. Though, so entranced you are, were with the Lord's relics, the Lord's strange and eldritch things, but you would take a wall, uh, one of his very own blades off the wall, and in a stroke of madness try to strike him down. So, like, is, is she looking at me the entire time? No, she refuses to look at you. Oh, okay, so he's basically got the one hand up and is mimicking her voice until he gets to the part that he doesn't know. <laughs> uh, whip crack. Through through these uh, solid iron bars, the fucking whip lashes out. Uh, you're going to take non-lethal damage. Uh -oh. Unless you like to dodge, I don't think you can. I mean, I could try to dodge. Because <laughs> I think he just hit you until... I think he just keep trying until he hit you. But I'll, I'll, yeah, give it a, I'll give it a roll anyways, just to see if he's a, a big baby bitch. Well, he misses. <laughs> big baby bitch. He's, he, he whip cracks the ground and goes... Ah, can, can, can I do something with fun? Sure. Can I grab hold of the whip? <laughs> Are you sure? Ah, no, you're more, low, more along the lines of step on it. For a second, and then let it go. Yeah, he'll yeah, and then he'll pull it back, and you see you're just just this monstrous. He steps back. Does that about clear up the misunderstandings? Just about. Good. Then how long is it you've been an assassin? Ah. Uh... How long did that take for me to grab that weapon and then come down here? <sighs> Three hours, fifteen minutes, my lady. Three hours and fifteen minutes! Ah, roughly that, then. I don't like your tone. I don't know why that keeps popping up. I don't... I don't like your tone, but I suppose that I'll have to suffer it. She, uh... Plate struts away from yourself. I cannot move her. God damn in this game. I hate you, Rule 20. Yeah. I hate you. And how are we doing today, Boros? What do we do? What did you do? Hmm. Very well, I shall recall. I do believe that I made so much as a... Uh, a gesture to come with my kind husband to come over to your small little farmland over in the corner of our territory, and you did not so much as even grovel towards us. 
dare I say, you even had the audacity to shake the poor lord's hand. Do you not understand that you are beneath us? I'm pretty sure it's cold enough to see the steam coming out them nostrils. <laughs> yes, beasts continue to pant and heave. But understand this. You are property, nothing more, nothing less. Though the Lord says it's only but a kind gesture, I would not take it so, c so closely to heart that your freedom is earned by working land. Does he even know we're down here? I do not believe the Lord needs to know. But... Ah, so this is power. Did I say that you could talk back to me? It doesn't matter. Oh, Raven! Wa bap! <laughs> As he he's gonna. Whoa. Unless he fucking nat once, he's gonna hit me, so. Uh, and just. Six lethal damage. Ooh, As that stings. I wanna. <laughs> bladed whip slashes across your the, the entire width of your chest. You're bleeding. You take a knee. He doesn't have the strength to stand. Good. Do we have an understanding of your position, beast? I may just be so generous as to let you out of here. <sighs> he doesn't say anything, but he bows his head. Good. Just as expected. You will serve with the waiting party. I'm sure that all of the nobles would love such a, to see such two creatures in spectacle. A warrior and a rogue. <laughs> she... She struts back down and a uh, crow with his single eye gives you two a glance and uh... Was it crow or raven? <laughs> uh, raven. I had him named crow before this and I renamed him so I'm, I'm a little fucked up on him. Yeah, okay. That's so crow. <laughs> what a crow thing. He, uh, he gives you a little, uh... No funny business here. We got an understanding between us. He grumbles something in Torin. I'll be watching you, man beast. Try anything again, and don't show proper respects to my lady. I'll be the one putting you up on spit. He licks his lips, eyeing, eyeing, eyeing all of your haunches up and down, and goes back down to where she is. Right. As I was saying, Godai Aaron was your name, yes? Do you have a title, Magos? Uh, Sire, Scion, what is it? Sorry, uh, my headset cut off for a sec, but... <laughs> Your, I, I do you have a title in the Godai? With, with a name, perchance? Do they call you Magos, uh, Lord, Sires? What, what, what do they call you in the Order? Uh, do I have a title, or is it just... Alright, Tommy. I... Wouldn't assume he would have a particular title as of yet, other than being whatever actual not an initiate anymore. Okay. So, go die then. Just go yes. die. Go die, Alan. I have a particular proposition for you, as I'm sure you're very curious where your other half is. You do know who I'm speaking of, yes? Yes. Good. Then you'll very much understand. What I am about to ask you next. I'm willing to free you from this cell, or I could let you rot down here forever. And I think the poor young lady will make another great serving girl here. I actually fucked it up. You haven't been here for like four hours. You've been here for like four days. 
Oh. Okay. My bad. <laughs> that, that, that's important. That's actually important is the reason why. Yep, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I've been getting the shit being out of me for four days. Got it. Yeah, actually, though. <laughs> uh. So. The, uh, the cocky grin on his face would just stop. Yeah, now he's just staring deadpan at her. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Easy. I wish you to resume your position. Go ahead and intermingle, become one of the god, whatever it is that I care, but you'll do a task that I ask you. And what task would this be? You are to kill the young Lord Lek. His eyebrows would raise a bit. But, uh, he would nod. Good. No questions. As to be expected of an assassin. I'll have your things prepared for you and brought back. As well, you two will be released and given proper accompaniments. Farewell. And the, uh, the elegant lady struts back, uh, exiting the small, this terrible dungeon back up towards the stairway. And you all have a, a few moments alone. Uh, he is going to smash the wall right next to him. Please don't try and bring this down. I have a sister to save, and if you collapse this, uh... Yeah. I'd prefer not to have to spend all of my spells at once. You just... No. Sadly, you hear him leafing through pages. I forgot to prepare knock today. <sighs> and he just... You hear him toss something and it just disappears again. <laughs> I guess I have to wait for them to let me out. You get... You don't hear anything back. Oi! You're one of those spell slingers. Hey. Uh... I dabble. Stick his head as far as he can through the bars. Why haven't you turned them all inside out yet? Uh, because my talents lie more with the sword in combat. My point stands. I am also but a trainee still. Sadly. <sighs> Christ. Eighth wall seems to be bre Eighth wind seems to be brewing. Yes. Why don't we help you? Oh. How can you help me, two vagabonds such as yourselves? I know you can't see him, but he... You can hear the big bastard, right? Ah, I can feel the big bastard. <laughs> I don't know who this Lek fellow is, but I imagine he... I imagine Boros could crotch his head straight between his shoulders. I've already fucked up my accent, but let's not worry about that. Ah... <laughs> uh... You expect that hag to abide by her word? I don't expect that hag to abide by anything. Exactly. That's why we take the. Instead, we ahead. take the earliest chance we get to leave. Sorry, no can do. If you want my help, I need two things first. Well, Your one sister. thing. And my sister and my sword. Or, and a sword, particularly. I wouldn't want my sword either, though. Kind of seems like a side note considering the circumstances. What is this goat eye they speak of? Goat eye, Boros. They're, uh. What are you, like, warrior priest? Except you don't worship no god, right? No, we don't worship no gods, but we do dabble in magics and 
collect artifacts and protect them from those who would try to misuse them. That seems like very particular circumstances to have a whole order of people. Do you do oh, weddings? Shrug. Yes. We do a bunch of things. In fact, that's exactly why I was here with my sister. It was supposed to be one of her first uh, missions. Alan, could you do me a favor and give me a perception check? You're shooting for 15. Shooting for a 15. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna hit that. Where is it? Very is slow it? And, and, and somber start, but this is basically what I expected out of this. <laughs> uh, it's it's brilliant. Fifteen. Ooh. <laughs> God, did no one, does no one take perception like at all? Uh, perception is not a class skill. This is gonna be a hell of a game. Um, but Alan, as you're leaning up and rattling up against these bars, you can hear further in, uh, in, in this little dungeon, you hear the sounds of flowing water, water, no, the batter of sea waves. And it sounds far too nearby for you to be just underground and hear this. Hmm. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, is there anything else you all wish to say to each other? So, I gathered no. a rogue, just kind of motioning towards the person that I can see, and, uh, brute, so fighter-ish, maybe. What do you, what can you two do? You'll see soon enough. Uh, what the other one said. Right, okay. Well, if you need me, just go. I'm gonna see if I can get some sleep. So they like, come with the keys anyway. Chunk, 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 chunk. Ah, right on cue. Each of you, uh, the the two guards, both uh, pretty well armed. None of you have kept your arms, of course, so you are completely unhanded. Uh, and they're going to uh, release your cell doors, open it up. <laughs> And each of you are going to be given a small kit. Uh, this kit is clothing. Alan has a Cure Light Wounds potion in his. Boros does uh, not. And your clothes are yellow and black and fluffy kind of looking. They're extremely garish and they kind of make you look like a jester. For me or for Alan? For you, Boros. You've been provided clothing, and they make you look like a circus clown. I guess it is better <laughs> than a color. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, they gave me the matching set. But you are a clown. Ah, so circus performers. Oh, and together we're full act, brother. Now we have a, uh, a goat eye to our ranks. Magic tricks, mm. full circus. <sighs> Anything else before I lead you all off? Uh, so I wasn't given guard equipment yet. Right. Uh, here. He gives you uh, what seems to be just a plain set of leather armor. The guards themselves aren't wearing this. You can see that they have much heavier armor, what seems to be something like an armored coat. Uh, mm. But. It, it fits, and it makes you look like a guard, so you blend right in. Perfect. So he just materializes a spell book out of thin air and just starts flipping through the pages, just walking down the hallway. Two guards look at you like, what the fuck, but don't say anything, and you will be led up. And things will change. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Steel, I promise we'll get to you. I'm sorry that it's going to be taking this long. Man, save the best for last. <laughs> Lil! <laughs> I'm back! 
You're back. Yeah. Well, you docked at Frost Island. Your your father uh, weighing anchor somewhere in a nice little hidden port where it seems to be they've been doing a little bit of a business underhanded trade. But your father encouraged you to go with his permission and go enjoy the festivities and, and, and take them while they last and see if you can go see that Lek fellow that uh, from so many years back. And of course, you have your gift. So you're trudging along, you're going up through the snow. It's a little bit of a hard path since you're not going through the conventional trail. I didn't move us over, did I? I can't see a damn thing. Fucking sweet. Nice. You're trudging up this small little, uh, this little cliff-like pass trying to tussle yourself up while still holding on to the keg. Um, Jonathan. <sighs> yes. The barrel starts to sway and quake as you throw it up from one little, you try to throw up a cliff, but it rolls back down all the way back down through the hill. But you can see that it starts gyrating and wiggling strangely and a man pops out. Jonathan. <laughs> so, last we left you, uh, you had just gotten passage uh, over to the great land of Thralisgard so that you could meet your uh, your esteemed, famous, uh, most most appreciated author. Let me go see their name again. God damn it. I, I, I need to have the names on like a fast list. What do we call her? Like Bar Barnaby B. Barnum? Yeah. Barnaby B. Barnum. Well, as it turns out, your village sucks and port ships don't normally come from there so you had gone on to a ship uh, and quickly had tried to make yourself a stowaway just to quickly find out that that thing that you saw that kind of looked like a ship was not a ship and in fact was a giant sea beast with a big wooden structure on its back uh and that the little village's peace had been assured by making sure that pirates don't raid it through ample offerings. Okay. Finding this, you stowed yourself quickly into a barrel, but before you could make your escape, they had already set off and you were onto the open sea. Your barrel was not empty, and in fact was filled with a very staunch amount of not wine. Oh. You smell purely of alcohol. How much you consume consider is entirely debated by uh, how much you wanted to consume. But rest <laughs> assured, you, you, you smell like shit. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Nixie, a man popped out of your barrel. What do you do? Yeah. Um... Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh. <laughs> I didn't cut any air holes. <laughs> um, I think and Nixie goes to like reach for any weapon and does not have one. So she just kind of like holds her hand out in front of her like she's ready to cast a spell. And she's like, um, what are you doing in the barrel? <laughs> I quickly stand up and also point my hand at her. What were you doing carrying the barrel? Given the barrel as a gift to give to somebody else. Ah, you see, I was guarding the barrel. Hmm. This seems like false information. Well, you seem like a barrel thief, and I've been hired to make sure that doesn't happen. Where are you headed? Uh, you know, places. Uh, this is... Frost Island, right? Well, seems like it. It's freezing out here. And I am soaked in wine. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm. Not my best plan. I wonder Not if you do color correction on, uh, on, on your little light-up thing to make you just pure purple. <laughs> <laughs> Maroon. I'll, I'll work on that. Keep, keep going. Okay. Supposed to believe that you are guarding this barrel from the inside. Why well, don't you just tell me what's actually going on? Uh, uh yeah, uh, okay, I'm, I'm heading, I'm heading to, to the place, to the, 
Uh, but I, well, I need to ride to Frost Island, at least. Uh, and y your uh, beast boat thing certainly was a fantastic ride, I must admit. Uh, barrel, barrel travel, not my favorite one. Not the best. So what are you trying to... What are you trying to do here? Why did you need to, uh... Why did you need to stow away? Why should I trust you? Uh, you can trust me because I'm poor. I didn't have money to travel. Oh, boy. No, I'm here to, uh... Well, uh, I'm here to meet someone. Uh, they, uh, someone. they know... Yeah, they know I'm coming. Uh, it's, it's fine. Um, gotta, gotta, uh, figure out... Uh, you know, some way to get there without any money, and you know, stowing away, that's the classic, the classic, uh, trick, you know, everyone, everyone stows away now and then. Nyx furrows her brow for a second, and then she says, um, I'll, uh, I'll let you come along with me, if, and we'll promise not to kill you, if. When we get there, this someone who you mention actually knows who you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, I'll, you know what? Uh, I'd love to come with you and follow all of your uh, expectations, because currently, I can't feel my legs. Well, I, okay. Um, and then I think she she kind of scrambles over to the barrel and looks for the looks to see the state of this of this uh, leftover wine. Is it all just busted everywhere? Uh, I mean, there's like a little left. Okay. Like you know when you you know when you spill a can of Coke and it's like most of it, of course, it fucking all, all of it like goes out, but it's still got that little like that swig. So, so she's gonna. <laughs> I think she'll keep the barrel and the tiny swig of wine then, uh, just for the sake of it, of the foot wine. Um, and she'll bring it along with her. I made your load lighter. Yeah, actually, uh, I would have preferred if you just carried it, but too late now. <laughs> and she starts heading uh, up towards the city. It's this way. Alrighty, I guess I'll join. <laughs> so you two make your clown trip uh, <laughs> over the <laughs> the barren snow towards Lord Throki's Manor. Uh, plus one, Nixie. Plus one. <laughs> Everybody gets one. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Gotta have a buddy. Woohoo! Are either <laughs> of you dressed for a party? So once, of course. No, no, absolutely no, not. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you are in fact purple. I, I am. Yeah, I, I, I am either purple or like covered in purple, or both. One of us is very out of place, and the other one is mostly out of place. <laughs> Did you ever think of delivering him, I don't know, a barrel of white wine? <laughs> I didn't pick this. <laughs> Take it up with my father. Your dad was gonna uh, be Australian, but I fucked up his voice, so I just had to roll with it. <laughs> oh, it was great. It. I'm pretty sure this was an important gift. If you weren't poor, you'd be paying for this. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's not much of a gift. It tasted horrible. Excellent. Thank you for your wonderful input. Well, I'm no wine critic, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure after soaking in it for however many hours, it probably didn't taste quite as good. I mean, it works. I <laughs> certainly... It'll, it'll get you drunk. I had about, I don't know, maybe, maybe about uh, two glasses worth, maybe three... Uh, it's hard to tell when it's in, in gulps so that you have broken your brain. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's a miracle I wasn't caught because the amount of wine I displaced made such a huge puddle on the floor. Uh. <laughs> uh, Nyx kind of smirks and says, uh, 
I don't think we uh, notice much of uh, much of any mess back on the ship. It's a little chaotic up there. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I still don't trust you. That's fine. I'm a trusting guy. I trust you. Uh, primarily because, uh, well, I have to because I am freezing. <laughs> I am I am soaked in a liquid in the middle of a tundra. God, the stop talking about it. And uh, she casts <laughs> uh, Prestidigitation Digitation and she cleans them up. And we just found out how to make them purple. All right. <laughs> Never mind, I took light instead of prestidigitation. No, he doesn't get anything. <laughs> Oops. You make him glow. Yeah. yeah, I give him a fancy party light, and I'm like, better. <laughs> Great, from purple to purple disco ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it'll be, pre it'll be pretty easy to find my body uh, out here in the snow. Does Jonathan complain the entire way there? Uh, until- yeah, until, uh, <laughs> until he's not soaked in wine in an area that is, like, you know, maybe- maybe room temperature, uh, he will be complaining constantly. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> hey, I'm good. I'm alright, yeah. Yeah, All Nixie's right. just rolling her eyes the whole time. <laughs> Guys, we'll continue on, and we have one last man to the show. To the gun show. As one man, the most... <laughs> the favorite character makes no. his but, way. But the only one who's actually dressed for a wedding. In fact, my man may rock. You're also the only one that arrives in a normal way, as you, unlike others, have been able to secure an invitation. How did you acquire said invitation? Uh, it took a lot of work. Before coming here, because I had a little bit of forewarning, I spent about a week and a half in a nearby settlement, um, basically digging up the names of some distant clans uh, located in Jomsburg, and basically making myself uh, affiliated with that, that group of people. Um, and when, uh, after a bunch of back and forth communication and, and basically working with the Millers, uh, as best I could to, like, kind of as a sort of as a go-between, I convinced one of the chiefs in a, in a tribe in Jomsburg, um, that, uh, for a very, very small donation, um, to this fake organization that I don't care about, um, I would be presenting uh, to Lord Throki a gift which would help in in intense ways sort of a cement a relationship between these two noble houses and to in that sort of manner I wound up getting an invitation um, completely bullshitting my way through all of it hmm so you've come by name I have yeah which I'm gonna regale you with in a moment mm-hmm you, you, you trudge up through the... You can see that a snowstorm has already started to pick up outside. It's, it's starting to get a little bit rough, and the travel over here has not been great. But what are you dressed in? Uh, I don't know what traditional, like, Viking attire looks like. Um, when I did a quick Google search for exactly that phrase, I basically just got a lot of pictures of, like, what I wish my wedding looked like. Um, but I, I get the impression that, like, nice male Viking attire would end up being, like, you know, a doublet and not wearing, like, a ton of furs or anything to overshadow the groom in his own ceremony. You'd be correct. You've, you've come appropriately dressed. You're wearing... You, you would, of course, have a fur cloak, but it's it's probably, you know, either brownish or a whitish. Uh, traditionally, the grooms would wear, like, a black... A black bear. Rawr. I don't know why Love I did it. that. No, do it again. Give me a ringtone. Oh. No. Rawr. Rawr. XD? Yeah, but like, you know, just just very basic brown, um, but nice uh, filigree style attire. All right. Who's that approaches? Hello, my lord. Uh, Mayrock gets all the way up to the gate before he uh, stops and doesn't say anything for a second, just kind of like knocks the snow off his knees and says... Uh, Merok of Clan Torsten, representing the late Lord Torsten of Jomsburg. 
Torsten, you would not be his boy, were you? Uh, I am brother, uh, half brother of Randy the Mute, allied with Skarde the Cleft Chinned. You might know that they are in turn the son of Tora Three Spears and the Iron Sisters clan. Scarred. Fought the war with that old bastard. He was a very predacious sort. I can see they make you from the same stock. Come on in, it's getting cold out here. I strongly appreciate that. If I am uh, not invited to stay for the entire ceremony, I do understand. Mostly I am here to simply present a wedding gift and uh, pay tribute to the Lord. The Lord's generosity extends to all that wish to stay in the evening. The Lord understands that there is quite a, a bit of drink and food being served around, and it is so awfully cold with the blizzard outside. We've been given explicit instructions that if anyone was wished to stay, a guest room would be made available to them. His kindness was rumored, but I never expected it to this extent. Thank you, I shall. And I jauntily go on inside. On your way, Torsten. And the guy gives you, like, a firm salute, a salute and, uh, you head in. I do. Wow. Look, at you. There's a whole bunch of, like, nice busts in this front entryway. I said that I need, to I need to play Skyrim to practice voices. Indeed. You'll get to the Cloud District very often. <laughs> yeah, play Skyrim, get the, the, the total of two different voices that exist in that game. Mm-hmm. And with that... I'm going to start pulling people as you all are going to appear at the same time. Hey! Uh, Alan, Alan and Boros and uh, Aethwin, wherever the fuck I go get him. <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. Uh, you are led blindfolded out into uh, the courtyard and your blindfolds released so you now have uh, access to the place. Nixie and Jonathan. The two of you, if you take a look at the left side of the screen, uh, have a, you've made your way through a crack <laughs> in this long, tall shrubbery and have started weaving your way down to the south before uh, one of the guards catch you. And you're going to get about here. And Astrid, you're going to be descending back down from the stairway. You had to, to fix your makeup or do something else a little bit more. Uh, I had to put the book. I had to put the book away. Otherwise, I was going to be carrying around a book that I can't read all night. And then, finally, uh, as as everyone has assembled, uh, one of the guards uh, burst in, and the whole uh, assembly is called to a close. Uh, you can see that the Lord before Mayrock can properly uh, be introduced to him, and. Uh, Everyone else seems to be standing and gawking. By the way, this is there. There is a second story to this this little room. There's like a whole like wreath of people that are like gawking and looking down. But one of the guard announces, announcing the hero of Hatch, the young lord, Lek the Great. Mm. My noble playlist stopped working. Me sad. That's okay, I have something for this. I think it was this. I just used Bronze Mask. I gotta say, he looks like a bitch boy. Wow. <laughs> Let me just say, I've been waiting for six real D&D &D hours to get a character description from each of you guys, because I'm real excited for that. You'll all see each other at the same time, too, so that's that's that's... that's, that's I planned this a little bit. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe slightly. Roll 20's fuggling with me here, but let me get you a, a picture of this guy. Standing at a surprisingly broad uh, six foot six. A very monster of a man. <laughs> Astrid, you're an inch smaller, I know. <laughs> Wearing oh. the the regal black armor of, of Lulanti, a gift from the High King himself. Uh, one eye, he seems to be looking with a pace and strutting with a pace of great intention and wearing a great and grand and extremely fluffy uh, black bear's cloak as Thlek Throkison enters the scene and uh, makes his way into the doors. And each of you should be able to see him. I think uh, I, I meant yeah. to leave you guys. Oh, there. That would make more sense. 
and in one gruff tone, he, he calls out, Let me see my father. And break time. <laughs> so anything about this guy except for one fact. Lek Throckison? Fucks. <laughs> yeah, fucks dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll One whole fucking Batman's inch. <laughs> I'll, I'll put this depressed bad boy back on screen because I know people like Keanu Reeves, and that's basically him with a beard, isn't it? Oh, uh, you gotta, you gotta kick a bot. Uh, yeah, he's he's kind of like if if in an alternate reality we didn't get sad Keanu, we got like douche Keanu. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, right? And I'm thinking, what if I want to get famous? Midlife crisis Keanu. No, this is Rianu Keeves. I kind of want to get famous. I kind of want to leave that there. But we're going to go ahead and steal off to a break. It's going to be 15 minutes, and we're going to pick up back at 9. Uh, thank you for everyone who's been watching. I'm actually going to leave the chat open if you guys want. Uh, I'm going to really quick make another chat in the Discord if you want to go sneak away. But uh, I really got to use the bathroom. Let's see if I can do that. Is it easy? It's not. It's just... Take I a mean. glance sideways because she's not used to someone towering over her. Because I'm going to just make an assumption that Boros is towering there. a whole inch over her. No, Boros. Oh, no. I... oh Boros. Yeah, Boros, no, Boros is, is like next to her. Boros is, like is like damn near eight feet. Yeah, so she's just like she. she I'm pretty sure I have the fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm having the bow in this place. Or a she hunch. Looks... How much taller does the clown hat make you? I'm not wearing that. Another foot. He is, or else he would not have been allowed over here. Oh yeah, Nixie, this is your childhood friend, by the way. Yeah, I know. I figured. <laughs> uh, I'm Lex? gonna be right back. Y'all can keep talking, and Heidi hole. The Heidi hole is open. If you guys wanna. Lex steal I'm just gonna kind of guy who'd put the milk in before the cereal. You know what I mean? Ugh. Yeah, he wouldn't care know. about the mess. He'd leave the mess and walk away. He looks like the kind of guy who's gonna get married to Astrid for five years and never learn her favorite position. Oh, Jeez. if if that happened, he would learn it. He looks like someone who just got the news that like SpongeBob is over. No, it looks like someone who just got the news that SpongeBob's got this next season. <laughs> <laughs> He's remembering fondly the first five seasons of SpongeBob. This is an interesting conversation. Lex looks like the kind of guy who wanted to get a fucking full back eagle tattoo, oh uh, but only managed to get like two feathers because it hurt too much. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, we were just watching Cobra Kai. Yeah, we were just watching Cobra <laughs> Kai. <laughs> and fucking Hawk. <laughs> the guy who gets a massive hawk on his back. Oh god. I'm gonna I can't suck for that actor. I can't get over how much Mayrock looks like a chicken. <laughs> you really gotta put yeah. him on black. Huh? Yeah, man. He's got kind of that yeah. rooster top, for sure. No, he, he's got the goatee, too, so it looks like he's got the little fucking gizzard. It's great. I love it. Uh, I don't even know how to kick butts. I don't manage my own Twitch chats. What am I fucking... You just... You just uh... What, a fake just streamer? Gi just give me mod and I'll do it. <laughs> I got it. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh, I I modded him. <laughs> you modded him? Yeah. <laughs> you modded the bot? <laughs> that would be great, are... wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think How are you'd we find out famous? that'd be not so great very crew <laughs> very very quickly. The bot, what's it gonna do? <laughs> is it let's play the game is it bot or indian man <laughs> come on indian man come indian on man. indian man no he's not asking for bobs and vagine how are y'all enjoying it so uh, far it's a it, little slow pace but i i've been trying I got, I, since the old game i got a sneaking suspicion things about to get heated <laughs> i'm dripping with enthusiasm Oh, I have, I have an entrance plan, and I have 12 seconds to do it, so I'm getting fired up. 
So hey. I'm just going to ask a quick question while we have a break. Boros mm -hmm. and uh, his friend, which is absent at the moment, but Boros is dressed in these the servant's attire, right? No, no. he's dressed like a fucking clown. No, he's clown dressed uniform. in like a uh, a performer's entire entire. He to to Jonathan, if he saw him, he looks like the troubadours of his homeland. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this thing does not fit my dimension, so I look horrific. To, to <laughs> it's like two sides. Of the your 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 huge pecs bulging out of it. Your muscles uh, just there, ripping it. There ain't much. There ain't much looking out there right one moment since I've been starved for like five days. Yeah, oh. that's what she's he's looking, looking he's at looking. right now. Yeah, his ribs are showing. His neck's too thin. Don't worry, Fuck the, it, big, his the, breath the big is... puffy outfit hides it all. I'm 100% sure this does not cover the entirety of you unless they got my exact dimensions. Very <laughs> strangely, it is. <laughs> Though, uh, well, if you want to give me like just a quick, a quick wisdom, me so or just, just yeah, just you, just a raw wisdom or sense motive if you got it, if you got that. <laughs> fighters don't get sense motive because yeah, fighters can't get anything nice. <laughs> You're all fighters. None of you took perception. <laughs> what we there can't take 17. perception unless the class gives it to us. You take a trick. This is true. That's a that whole ass trait. Nah. Whole ass trait. For the best ass game, we can't if I got to it in a minute. I assumed other people would have the skill. Boros. The one time I don't take this yep. skill. You, you, you are very quick to assume that uh, as as child childish and as much as this is made to demean you, uh, it seems like it was very hastily put together to hide your... Uh, your beatings. Of course it was, because this hag did her shit with no actual power because she tripping. But don't worry, I got something for her. I got something for her. So I cannot tell that he is half starved. Not immediately. And... Okay. If you'd like to, you can make a perception, but it'd be very hard. Unless he just decides to strip bare top. Yeah, no, that's not. That's not gonna cut it. Sorry. Okay. Close though. It's okay. We'll figure this out. Well, I, I, if I if I can say though, if I can say though, GM, since uh, everybody's paying attention to the uh, to the dude with the beard over there, he is he has barely constrained barely constrained hatred in his eyes for pretty much everything he's seeing right now. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Those cool guy. Those slave penalties, though, man. Minus four to strength, con, fatigue. Ow, baby. Uh, I, yeah, I did. The I second did. I get a meal. Yeah, the second you get a meal, all that goes away. Oh, and the second I get decent, a meal. <laughs> some decent <laughs> food. But be wary of trying to snatch that shit off the dining table. <laughs> My man's gonna get his ass whipped again. Wait, 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 his fucking minus four and fatigue going when he has some fucking food? This guy is like Minotaur Popeye. <laughs> I mean, it's either that or actually not be able to play because my uh, disadvantages are that crippling. For not very good advantages, but you've actually managed to pull it off. No, I, I I think I buffed the advantages explicitly so that, like, afterwards, no, I get the same. Uh, the reason I had to make it so crippling is I also knew uh, you would, if I gave you any amount of power, you would kill everything in this room and then yourself. Like... I mean, if he gets that meal, he may still do it. He may still do it. That... Well, that's, like, that's what the meal is like, for. You you get some shit, you get some gear, you get a good you get something good in your stomach, you start going fucking ape shit on these boys. First things first, I gotta get on some armor because I have no fucking armor class. Uh, Alan, I, I do want to point out because I don't want it to get glossed over. Uh, you did hear water downstairs in the dungeon. That is very important. Yes, I have taken a note of that. Okay, you're nowhere near the ocean. No, you are in the well. center of the island, which is like yeah. a few miles either which way. It's not a big island. It is is it is a fully water locked island, but it's big enough that farms are on it. 
Let me note that down on my journal before I forget. Who's who messaged me? It says your max is two and it needs to be twelve. On your token, does it say two? No, it's twelve on my end. Do you, uh, he's just doing a weird glitch. I don't know. Oh, are you talking about on your sheet? Uh, yeah. Here, I can fix that like right now. I, I, I cool. if, if it's your sheet, I know exactly what the problem is. Cool. Like everything was fine until you said two years had passed. Uh, you've like, only heard mm. that one rumor, uh, like mm, months ago. You've been trying to get the, you've been trying to scramble feet. It says your max is two, D hit die, class HP. There's a magic button at the top of this page uh, that any time that you see something like that called recalc. Click. Nice. Fixed. Magic. I think? Dear God, man, I Boros may leave this place being a racist against humans. The majority. <laughs> He should probably. Like, no, because like humans. No, because here's the thing. Humans came, killed let's say killed a lot of his people, took him and his wife and child slaves. Yeah. Got forced to fight in wars that he did, wanted nothing to do with. Tried to break free. Well, man, you're in like your third bout of slavery. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, I, I told I, like I how many years has it been? I, I I don't think we properly hashed that out, but it's been more than a decade. Yeah, no, like, you, you don't understand, no go. Like, as far as I understand it, this man is on a teetering point for oblivion. Like, he is, it, it is not good. <laughs> it is not good. How, how does the, the wayfaring news of the fact that another Minotaur has been sighted uh, around the uh, the greater, the, the mainland of Thralisgar, does that does that shift him any other way? I don't know just yet. Like, a part of him's holding out hope, but another part of him's just like, what does it even matter? And it, it, those, two are, those two things are conflicting, and I can't decide on which one is more pertinent to him at the moment. Maybe once he gets his freedom, he'll start thinking on that but right now all he can think about is an old hag that needs her neck snapped and she do she really do mm. you guys got a bunch of big moods going on jonathan and i are gonna hit the the buffet table <laughs> <laughs> that's a mood in and of itself if you want to be it's a, it's a have ourselves some some order king harlow's orders. from king harlow's from mountain blade warband we feasting, baby. We feasting. Hey, can, can someone help me out real quick? Um, I named a city Havach. Why is that so familiar? Because you are thinking of the city in Skyrim called Kavach. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, Kavach from the Elder Scrolls. I, guess that's like, I didn't think that was a city in Skyrim. Yeah. All the Elder Scrolls blur together for me. Kind of a fan of those uh, games. I was like, just like... Like I don't, I don't doubt you. There's probably a city in the in oh, the Elder Scrolls universe named that. It's just not okay. a hold in Skyrim. Everybody had some time to, to rest and relax and get your get your role play your your, your role play motors a revving. I think they're already revved. Good. Um, it is eight fifty eight. Going to the eight fifty nine. Second hits eight fifty nine. Back to it, Spencer. What are you doing? Don't don't fucking wiki post me, Kavach. I I don't need to see my failures. <laughs> I actually think that I've named almost every city as a reference to some other game that I've played, like uh, a a weird derivation. Like the capital of Volanti is Uxala. Every time I try to make up a word, it's just some word that I heard a long time ago that's like deep in the back of my brain. I don't know. I, I mean, that's it's... usually how it works. Gives a character. Like you actually have to put in a lot of work to make up a word. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of work to make it's up true. to okay. make up even just a naming convention. Fuck. 
That's why I just steal from the Romans. Shit, the hell is just me. When I'm when I'm GMing, I'll be like, all right, I need a city name. B b b b Mac. Fuck, that's just Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest thing you can do is to take the first this thing that is in nature, name it that, and something else. You well, arrive at the crazy. town of Mr. Beast Burger. I'm I'm, I'm, just... getting a little, I'm getting a little bit pissed off. My audio tracks are fucking up again because you know Roll Twenty don't like me none. First word, favorite soda. Second word, uh, street you grew up on. Roll20 don't love me no more. What is this? The freaking security security questions for my password? <laughs> All right, everyone. Nine o'clock's hit, and we are going to go ahead and pick up. Last we left off, uh, each of you have all made your way towards the Throkisan Manor uh, in your own very little points. I, I like how Astrid and Boros are already trying to height, height compare over there. I mean, no, it's not. just, she's just, he just stood next to her, and she's like, just glanced over, and realized she had to look up. <laughs> ah. She's like, that's not... Lick, my boy! The, uh, the elder lord goes to present, and you can see that his, his wife has very patiently taken by his side. Um, so uh, right now, I want anyone that has knowledge nobility, knowledge local, or, uh, I think there's a knowledge that I'm missing, but either of those two will work for now. I have knowledge <laughs> geography. <laughs> so I'm going to step this one out. Anyone else who isn't a loser? Uh, I, even if I had those knowledge <laughs> skills, none of my skill points went into <gasps> so fight. Yes. I have two. Hey. I have a hot two skill points. I have knowledge, I have knowledge <laughs> arcana and knowledge planes. I have knowledge dungeoneering. Why would that on. ever come handy? In the, wait, wait, how does he have knowledge dungeoneering? Where did he learn that? Listen. Uh, good question. Good question. Knowledge geography is going to be my jam, but I had to start as a monk, so I got four motherfucking skill points for a heist, baby. All right, all right. <laughs> well, uh, go ahead and you can make him untrained, and that's how I'm going to handle this from now on. All knowledge skills can be made any time that a call is asked for it. Um, in general, I'll, I'll tell you the difference between when I want a group skill check and a personal skill check. Make try to make note of them because I'm I'm a little bit I'm a little bit finicky when people like I'm going to try to pick this lock and it's like all right you failed move over I'm going to pick this lock. <laughs> But, is uh, this group? Sorry? Which is... What is this? So this would be a group check. Okay. Right. So anyone can make a knowledge uh, a knowledge local or a knowledge nobility? I made a knowledge nobility because I am not local. Uh, yeah, might as well try and do the same because I'm not from around this island. I should not have a minus four grapple in these notes. All right, Astrid. <laughs> you would know, uh, probably because you've also been introduced and give it well not introduced to him you've been you've been told uh, Jonathan do you know how to do your skill checks uh yeah hold on uh I'm just deciding because I'm terrible at uh all of the knowledges pretty much even the dungeoneering which I have actually um <laughs> fighter party really... fighter party <laughs> yeah. role play game fighter party fighter party <laughs> let's do it let's do a knowledge local Oh shit! Hey, Still a bit fuzzy in my man. Impressive. Question. Good thing that wasn't a twenty. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Astrid and Jonathan, both of you have heard the tales and the rumors. Uh, Astrid, you, 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 maybe you heard it, but you glanced over it. Uh, but Lek the Great. He's served in the Wolanti army since he was but a youth, and he served in the city of Kovach, where you made your stand against those guards that time before. Mm -hmm. In fact, you recall that he was uh, working to, to uh, organize and captain those ships that were leading the refugees out. You never saw him personally, but you know that he was there. Uh, besides that, in the coming years in the ensuing Three Rivers of War, uh, he single-handedly won the war. I am not understating that. In fact, if I'll take you guys to the map really quick, I'll tell you a little bit about the war because you know that knowledge now. 
take us on a lore journey, Nogo? Good As God, this map ain't coming. Do we get a ripple effect to, our, to this? I, I fucking, I had a peaceful dream SFX. I think that's one thing that I, I didn't do today as, as special effects, unfortunately. Uh, you're all seeing it? Good? Yep. Good. Yep. Welcome to the world or continent of Thralisgard. Everyone would like to have a nice little look at the thing our, our good friend Justin did this. He did. Yes, he did. Good job, Justin. He's not here. Who's a good boy? I'm sitting here going like, what's this? Is this a giant real tree? Oh, what's this? What's over here? So these are the two nations of first, the the colonial empire of Morningstadt. Officially, it is a subsidiary of the greater empire of Adamantine, where Boros is from, a faraway land of uh, sand and rolling plains in which they have these great marble structures and other such things where the exiled Black Prince reigns. He does not do so with anything less than an iron fist. Ten years prior, he had something of a vendetta against that of Thralisgard and sought to bring the entire continent finally under his rule. This entire area is his. This is the land of the 100 clans of Olanti, the, the inheritors of Woden's grace, the original progenitors of humanity, as they so proclaim, and the native men of Thralisgard. The 100 clans are a, a large mixture of nearly 100. It's, it's gotten skewed in time, but they've kept the name because, you know, it sounds nice. Uh, they've kept the name of 100 mingling and warring clans that fight between each other. Fuck off to the other continent. I've got another one coming. Because <laughs> this can't be a Viking thing unless you're raiding the shit out of somebody. Not the point. Holy shit. The High King has reigned for at least 50 years with a fairly even-handed grace, uh, trying to keep these 100 bickering children in line, including that of the Island of Frost. Well, uh, they had been preparing for war for some time over the past 10 years. And they made hundreds on hundreds on hundreds of warships because you cannot go through the Gwari lands. We'll get to the Gwari lands. So they were preparing warships across along this great gap. Well, a cold snap hit. This entire bay froze. And the and the the Imperial Legionnaires marched across the frozen water and pillaged Kavach, and were on their way to make their way towards the capital of Uxhala. Which you can find here. And Kavach is here. The thing is, is that they had marched their way and they were making their supply lines across these lines. Lek the Great did, uh, how do I put it? He lined... He burrowed his entire way around here and cut and basically remelted the water. And <clears throat> kind of sank an army in the process. He didn't do it single-handedly, of course, but, you know. So he is called the Slayer of a Thousand Men. Or whatever fucking cool-ass name you want to give to him. How do you like our history lesson? Do you know more of the world? Would you yeah. like to know more? I was Lek. disassociating that whole time. Lek, the icebreaker. <laughs> I have ascended to another plane of existence. No, that's me. I felt like I was driving. While we're here, why don't we go ahead and zoom in to where you guys are? The Island of Frost. For a final quick reference before I snap back to the manor. Uh, Jonathan? You were from way the fuck that way. Well, who? You were, you were off the map. You, uh, Nixie, were most likely born in these greater barrier, barrier islands, coasting between the, the small islet, islets and uh, inlets, and nice. making your trade, rampaging, and doing things that pirates do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock. Classic. I believe you're f not from Wulanti, are you? You from here. Take your pick whenever you want. 
And Boros is that way. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, and I guess Alan would be from 100 clans. Somewhere. Yeah, you fucking... You're a guy. You're around, you know? Yeah. You exist. Oh, and, uh, you know, Astrid was just in a monastery somewhere. Uh, you are, uh, actually from here. Right here. Ah. Boom. Boom, bang, bow. Bop. Is Morningstadt the name of just the capital city or like the surrounding region as well? The the, the colonial empire of Morningstadt would be the state, but there is also the capital city of Morningstadt. Fantastic. Wonderful. It's just the way I did it in my game with Azura. Uh, the Wolanti have their capital here of Uxala. They do not do the same thing. Because they are different and hate each other. Uh. Alright, back to the game. I want to see <sighs> my father. My boy! My apple of my eye. You return to me. Come, you must be tired from, from your long travel overseas. Come, have drinks, sit, relax, enjoy the festivities of the hour. I must speak with you. Lex seems to be very morose. He seems to be very downtrodden, uh, as much as you'd expect of a man be be dressed in all black. Mm-hmm. But the Lord uh, give, gives a hushed pull, pull over and says, Of course, my boy, anything. Please join me in my office. And the two uh, disappear, but not before Lek uh, crosses his eyes to see his uh, his groom-to-be. Both of you meeting what? eyes. Bride. Sure. <laughs> bride, 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 bride. I mean, if he wants <laughs> to be the bride, she could do that. <laughs> Bulletti culture is very weird. Oh <laughs> and now it's just time to make more a like man of you. He he looks he looks at you from head to toe, uh, one eyed of course. He he also has an eye patch. You don't see even the slightest expression of his face, uh, but he mutters something very quickly before uh, dashing away. Uh, you could hear it without making a perception if you'd like, or are you I'd, am, are I'd you like polite? To hear it. No, he muttered something after looking at me. I, what did he say? Beautiful. Aww. Like he's eyeballing a peach at market that he's going to take a big bite into later. And these two... Yucky. These two, uh, I'll pull it over the camera so they can see, disappear into here. Vindibar. And uh, with... No small applause. The party commences, and each of you are left to your own devices. Mayrock, your package is cuckolded. <laughs> well, I wanted to actually inquire about that. Somebody's, like, taking my gift? No. It's just in your hands. Oh, uh, the, the dude didn't even see you as you walked in before his son came, and he's like, Ah, oh, my boy! Oh. Fantastic! No, that's all. That's all according to plan. I, that couldn't have been fucking better. Okay, good to know. Um, I I can't really tell if the big minotaur here in the front lobby way, who's dressed like a jester, is like accepting tips and copper or anything. Um, and even if he was, I wouldn't give him any money. But I, I do give him like a little like, hey, you're doing a great job as I walk past. I wish just like an approving smile. I wish to hit him, but I can't. Do, do you say that? No. <laughs> it was written on his face, though. Just... She... Right now, Astrid just has a thousand yard stare, and she's just like, bother to say hi. Just a piece of meat. Got it. Okay, I lean over to Nixie and I just go, Hey, who the hell was that? It's, uh, Lek. Y you know him? No. Why are you here? It's his wedding. <laughs> oh, he's the groom. <laughs> who didn't, look very didn't look very happy for a wedding day. It's fair. Yeah, 
I should check up on him. He looks a little sad. He needs some good friend time. I haven't and seen some, him since I was a kid. And but some don't bad worry about it. Some good yeah. friends and some bad will booze. Yeah, good plan. Hey, uh, you want to go uh, talk to those guards over there? No, no, la ladies first. I do Oh, no, no, of course. After you. No, no, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. I'm good out here in the cold, covered in wine. I will be very happy out here. You can just go talk to the guards. <laughs> um, what, what is the guard situation? Were there some people, like, coming in and out at all? Or, is, are, like, are they guarding the door very carefully? What's the deal? There, there do seem to be a couple of patrols, but for the most part, uh, the guards are standing at a standstill. Two guards uh, watching the door. Uh, these two soldiers who have just come are basically like checking behind them, making sure nobody's followed or done anything. They seem to be uh, separate to the guard detail here. But you can see, like uh, coming behind you in particularly, there seems to be a guard that's making rounds uh, around the, the building and has almost spotted you guys. Okay, 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 um, okay, um, but just uh, two standing in attention, you know, you're just kind of being pincered by guards right now, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, um, <laughs> do you have that? an in uh, Well, not exactly, I, uh, I know the groom, uh, and also I can turn invisible for 12 seconds, so I'm hoping for the best. More of a plan than I've got. All righty. What, what's the window situation around here? The windows. Um, you can see that they do seem to be uh, paned glass, but these are very old style windows. There doesn't seem to be any sort of way to uh, crank them open or like pull them open or anything. But you do yeah, see up on the up. second story, there do seem to be some openable windows. It's a good thing I'm very good at climbing. Okay, I... Okay, my plan is I would like to stay here. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my plan is to um, just kind of uh, stay still in this corner, like slightly protected um, until the guard gets a, like a little too close. And then, no, that's a bad plan. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was, as, as, I was as gonna you... try and go invisible for 12 whole seconds and then run by him, and I'm like, I'm just gonna get so snatched. As, as you're shuffling and thinking about it, you can see that the guard is getting yeah, closer. Yeah. The snowstorm um, makes it a little hard for him to see in that big bucket helm of his, but uh, think quicker. What's this situation over here? The like hedges? Are they just like hedges? Are they like, is this a snowbank? Can I just dive in? I'm gonna What's bang deal? on this door real quick. Just like <laughs> three loud bangs. Hold on, let me try it. Oh. Yeah, that. The uh, the guard comes in and opens it out. Huh? Yeah? What do you want? What are we to do? Uh. You're the, the help, aren't you? Yeah, you're the Lord Bowman. How'd you even end up here? <sighs> I guess it's no matter. If you're being shown off as a showpiece, then perhaps you'd consider going around and serving food to some of the nobles. Maybe making a show out of yourself. I don't know, do I look like a nobleman? No, but you do look like you know your way around, and we do not. Smart boy. All right. If I remember, the kitchen's uh, some ways to the back. But be careful. I heard that the, sh the master chef absolutely detests slaves. Won't allow them anywhere near the kitchen nor the larder. You're to wait outside what? and receive a platter. Okay. And he'll direct you towards this room, if you'll take a look at the, towards the back of the house. I am nothing more than a idiot beast. May you show us the way. <laughs> he shrugs his shoulders and uh, closes the door. <laughs> no! You're a very enthusiastic t uh, one, aren't you? Just 
ready to please. He's breathing. He's just breathing. <laughs> okay, uh, um... Are they still having their height battle? No. It's like... You don't seem to be so enthusiastic about your own wedding. Oh yeah, I'm super enthusiastic to... Uh, to marry a man I've never met, and I don't, can't accurately judge the nature of his character. Ah, uh, you haven't happened to see a little girl about the yay high, uh, silver hair? No. Why? What happened to the wee lass? Uh, I just, if you <clears throat> have to find her, would you, uh, mind telling her that her brother's looking for her? I mean, I could take a look around. It's not like I'm going to be able to see my future husband anytime soon. Doesn't look like you'd be able to do that for a while. So? <laughs> Doubt she's back in the kitchen, so maybe uh, check over this way? Alan, you have a reign of the place. Uh, if at, at your leisure, but I guess you can see Boros and uh, the fellow that told you his name was Ali. Slide out towards the back. Uh, They're heading towards the kitchen. You just stick around long enough to hear a description. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's do that. Uh, if you haven't already, give me a try to give me the best description of your character as you can. Uh. I'll start from left to right. So Mayrock, uh, the dude who's sitting silently in the corner and listening to everyone awkwardly talk to each other. Deal. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I was muted He's there dead, for a Jim. second. I was enjoying the conversation too much. <laughs> Am I good now? Fantastic. Yeah, you're good. All right. So, Mirok, uh, much to Boros' displeasure, I'm sure, is just, he's embarrassingly human. Um, he's almost <laughs> completely bald uh, in a way that suggests it wasn't intentional, like his skull's covered in, in deep gashes and indents, uh, like he was dropped on his head as a kid into, like, a bunch of broken glass, a bunch. Um, and he's got, like, a little couple mats of medium-length uh, wine-colored hair on the top of his head, uh, like a mohawk or, like like Nogo said, like a rooster's crowing thing. Um, but it, it's it's clear he's made no attempt to, like, style this, and it doesn't look cool at all. Um, he's got a, a really long, winding, ash-colored tattoo that goes across his shoulders, his weapon arm, his face, um, all variants of, of like, Futhark runes. Uh, that just fell out the same phrase over and over and over and over, which is just two lives, many lives. And uh, as I discussed in my previous character description, I, uh, his right eyebrow is just a tattoo. He's missing it completely. And because he is currently wearing a very nice shirt, you all assume that he must have the regular number of nipples. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. uh, that man over there looks like someone with two nipples to me. Uh, <laughs> Nixie and yeah. Jonathan, uh, we'll start with Nixie. Nixie is like a six foot tall, weathered young lady. Um, she, she has the very like piratey attire on like leather straps and, uh, like tattered dark clothes. Um, and she has, uh, she's missing one arm. It's cut from about like midway uh past the like bicep um she's got tattoos that look like hand drawn uh all over her body she's she looks very cool <laughs> <laughs> a lot cooler than i am <laughs> uh is is how did she lose her arm or is that a is that a too long story for today i think i'll have to come up when it comes up Oh, so you mean, yeah. you mean send it to me and I'll give you something nice. No, I have a, I have a plan. Okay. I thought of it mm, 15 minutes ago. The great white narwhal. <laughs> oh, that would have been a good name for her. Too late. 
Toby Duck. Astrid. Quack. Uh, so a Astrid is um, a fairly tall woman, around 6'5". She's got shoulder length uh, brown hair that right now is just kind of fussed up and made into like just some sort of semblance of curls. Um, she's very broad-shouldered and from what you can see under the sleeves of her simple white wedding dress her arms are not slender but very muscular as if she's more accustomed to hard labor of some sort um and even <laughs> and she actually doesn't look very comfortable in that dress she looks like somebody who'd be much more comfortable in a set of trousers than a dress. All right, let's see. I get to bully Vinny, so he's purple. All right, Alan. No, Jonathan. <laughs> All right, so Jonathan. You know, he's like a. He's like. He's not a monster like the rest of you. He's a five eleven pocket prince. Uh, <laughs> 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 he uh. <laughs> currently very purple but normally when not purple uh is uh, much much like uh a fantasy world shaggy from scooby-doo uh oh, god <laughs> slender uh build uh <laughs> so not, instead of wine not, he reeks of weed yeah yeah because when the wine's actually covering up all the weed um because because he did he did have a little like farmhouse. What do you think he was growing? I mean, <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, give me some more. Got got like uh, not what's, what's not wearing? quite shoulder length. Oh, uh, just just like uh standard, uh, not not quite like pauper clothes. He doesn't look as poor as he actually is. Um, he does look a little bit dressed a little bit nicer than that. Uh, he's got his like uh. Nice, no longer white uh, shirt. <laughs> now, now horrendously purple. Um, he's got a satchel at his waist. Um, and uh, I don't know. Did we ever say if his if he has his sword on him or is it is it in no, his bag? You, you, you have it. You want okay. to have it? Yeah. So he's got a he's got his sword. Um, I don't. And that's a, that's about anything notable. Uh, I got a question. Does he think he looks cool? No, but he, but <laughs> he, he, he but, no, he doesn't think he looks cool. But he does like he 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 has confidence in himself. He, he he's he's not like ashamed or anything. But he knows that like if 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 he he's not winning like a beauty contest. I got I got a question. When Nogo sells out right and turns this campaign into a made-for-TV movie, what? <laughs> Actor plays Jonathan. Ah oh, shit! What actor? Yeah. What what famous celebrity does Jonathan most resemble? Who, who's the guy from the Mummy? <laughs> Bra uh, Brandon something. Brendan yeah. Fraser. Brendan Fraser. That's yeah. The guy. Yeah. Like sure. Let's go with the. <laughs> yeah. Like a <laughs> like an anorexic Brendan Fraser. A scrawny, uh, unshaven Brandon Fraser. Alan. Okay, just something I have to point out. Uh, all I can think of of your character is just it looks like if you can bound to or Tulio and Miguel together from Road to El Dorado. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, the perfect mix. They're one child. Yes. <laughs> what a succinct way of putting it. It's very good. <laughs> Okay, uh, Alan is a young-looking lad, uh, he's about 5'6", light brown, reddish hair, brown eyes. The true pocket prince of the party. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wearing underneath this armor is a red robe with a bunch of trinkets that you cannot see, as... Well, there's a few other things he likes to keep on him for spellcasting and whatnot. He's 
constantly looks like he has something up his sleeve, but, uh, in all honesty, it might just be nervous optimism. Why does he wear the trinkets? Uh, mostly as memories and for quick access to spell components. Nice. Okay. So, so he's just got, like, reagents and other sorts of bits and bobbles. Like, he's got, like, a, uh... Yeah. He, he's got, like, a cow's horn, like, just kind of shaved and filed down and put on a string and dangling from his yeah. neck in case he needs like to, a, like, like cast bull growth feather. or something. Something like that, yeah. Nice. Anything else? Uh... Not particularly. He doesn't really have any more equipment on him to really explain. Very cool. He's just uh, the, the small, young magic lad. The big, black, beast! Boros! I don't... Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, this, <laughs> this towering... This towering minotaur here is... A daunting 7 foot 9. He's like, got max rolls on height, but... Much of what he is say much of what he looks like is being covered at the moment by some very garish looking clothes. But what can be seen is that he has a very wild mane of hair. It hasn't looked well kept in quite some time. And Are the is the coloring intentional or is that just blood? Uh it was intentional at one point. Now, now it's just blood. <laughs> Depressing. His horns, which used to look like they were filed daily, have just been left to grow and twist. And his ears... I say his ears look very weather-torn. Like, uh, his right one actually is missing a good chunk of it. And his face is always set in a dour... I mean, in a dour... Uh, fucking, what's the word for it? Expression. Morose? Yes. Yes, a, and a very morose expression. My go-to for anything that's even slightly sad? Yeah. He, well, no, not morose. He just... He doesn't... He, he It's a look of, of a man who hasn't looked happy in quite some time. It, if you guys listen to me long enough and closely enough, you'll realize that I, I, I kind of just juggled the same six words. <laughs> like, we have fine. gibbering, morose. See if you can find them all. <laughs> we found gibbering. We found, I, I hope got, we found I gibbering. got both of them in my first session. <laughs> but... All right. the introductions that that takes care of it but you guys have the entire facility to yourselves the guards will stop you if you think they think they're going you're going in a place that you probably shouldn't and there's all sorts of people wandering around uh hey nixie jonathan hi ah! who goes there nixie uh puffs out her chest and turns around and uh kind of like passes the barrel over to Jonathan and, and she she steps uh, to the guard and she says, uh, hi there uh, Nix, I'm, I'm with the kitchen we went to grab the wine for the event but uh had a bit of an instance as you can see, you know how the servants get and she points over to our uh, our red man <laughs> Give me yes I, I had a bit of an accident, the snow is getting a little uh deep and trudging it wasn't very uh well it didn't work out very well let's just say give me a bluff yeah both of us uh no uh if you want to assist you can jonathan no please I'll, help i'll take I, whoever's I, higher I and then the assist would be the other okay okay uh i did not have my character sheet pulled up <laughs> i do it all the time don't worry about it much better than me. Hey. Let's see. Nixie, give me a 1d20. <laughs> That's never good. <laughs> that doesn't mean you fail. That just means something bad happens. Um, 
Yeah, I can see it all right. He's definitely got all sorts on him. Come on now, youngins. Snow's cold. You gotta be getting back now. And the, uh, the, you can see now as he, as he approaches closer underneath this salad helm, uh, a very grizzled, very old, uh, way, way past his prime guard. <laughs> uh, and he very quickly, uh, believes ex ex what you guys are saying, and he's going to make motions to trudging you guys back inside. Uh, yeah, let's follow along with him. For sure. Alrighty. <laughs> My lord me. and savior. <laughs> Who's that now? What are you uh, doing? Just... You can't be bringing... No, hold on, whippersnappers! Look at these servants! If the Lord doesn't get his wine, he'll have an absolute conniption! Do you want a cudgeling over the ear? Maybe a clouding? I'll be sure the two of you look like cauliflower for the time I'm done! And like, oh, oh, uh, Sorry, old Tom. Uh, right, uh, underway then. And the I elderly guard... Right on in. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cauliflower ear. You heard him. <laughs> so she's just looking towards the disturbance. And you are close enough for her to smell. I think I'm close enough to everyone to smell. Just... All right, oh. then. You all keep well now. Even the servants gotta do their part and keep warm. Oh. Thank you, old Tom. You're an inspiration. Gives a nod and heads back out to the cold. Uh, you were you were rolling for um. Well, if you rolled high, he would have recognized you. If you rolled low, uh, he just didn't. But you guys passed the bluff anyways. Woohoo! Excellent. We solved your puzzle. Good job. <laughs> rolled the dice. Good good fucking work, boys. Rabbit nice. Rabbit in session's over. We rolled the dice. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm gonna lean over and whisper again. Who are they? Um, she she leans over and whispers. I have no idea. I can hear you. Why does one of them look so awkward? Uh, you could ask. Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I, I reverse takes... my head on my shoulders. I think she takes a step forward and like assesses the three of them and then uh, decides to uh, to go with Astrid uh, and says, uh, we have wine for Lek. Uh, where should we put it? Uh, if you've got wine, you should probably head over to the kitchens, but seems like he either wore it all or drank it all or both. Where's the... F both. For sure, both. Hey, I, uh, yeah, both. So, I want to jump in because I keep seeing that uh, our Minotaur friend is like is inching further and further and further down the hallway with every single second. And I just wanted to clarify that the second he goes to leave, um, they rock up. Uh, you know, doesn't squeeze past Astrid, but she's a big presence in the room, so we have to like walk around a fair bit. Uh, mm -hmm. says, Congratulations on your wedding, or not? Uh, and follows down the hallway uh, after Boros and calls, Hold up for a second, idiot beast, whatever you called yourself. Ah, uh, That's a good voice. I'm not... trying to be so helpful. So, yo, you're getting married? Yes, I'm getting married. Did you not notice the wedding dress? Oh, oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. They don't. They don't tell me a lot. They just say, "Get the wine." I get the wine. I don't ask a lot of questions. Uh, Nix puts out her her hand and she goes, I, I, "I'm Nixie, an old friend of Lek. It's nice to meet his uh, his uh, bride." Just reaches out and takes it. Yes. Yeah. She she shakes. <laughs> it's not weird. <laughs> Just... Your, your hand comes off, you're like, ah, oh, that, was, that was the wrong arm, gets everyone. <laughs> your, your weirdness score has gone down by five. Congratulations. It's excellent. You're, well, you're now winning the Astrid dating sim. <laughs> well, if you want to if you want to be seeing Lek, he went to, to speak with his father. It seemed like they were going to be a while. Alright, uh, thanks for letting me know. Um, could you, uh, 
direct me to the kitchen? Uh, follow the oh, door boy. where the man just went. Right. Uh, he's a chef too. Got it. As she goes up this way. All right. Uh, really quick, Alec, Alec, you doing anything? What's going on? Alan? Just, just Alan might need just a split second. Just, just turn into Astrid after those two start to leave. Is my nose bleeding? Just kind of looking. No. Why? Okay, good. <laughs> Looks like he's got a headache from that interaction. Ah, uh, I understand. But uh, like I said, we should look for your sister. Right. Uh, uh, this way. Yes. Uh, party has split. Jonathan, <laughs> you're just following Nixie. Uh, I, I guess so. Um, <laughs> I, purple boy stumbled through big actually, I, I open the door. I look. I see there, there's so many people crammed in this hallway. I just kind of wander over to see what this room is. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll give Jonathan a description of the room. I move straight to the bull man, and then we'll get to the daughter search. Sound good? Or not daughter, Sounds sister like plan, search. My man. So, Jonathan, uh, you enter into this very regal, very, very ornate looking dining room. It's two stories tall with the top. You can see at the top floor that people are sharing uh, drinks and these uh, these seem to be smoking from these strange, like, uh, long wooden pipes that you haven't quite seen before. Um, the whole place seems to be de de bedecked out in hunting trophies and, and war medals and all sorts of bits and stories and bobs that you can tell that the Lord very much wants to make himself great and pronounced. Uh, sitting at one assembly of the table, you can see there's just a, b a bunch of nobles bickering. But at the other end, give me a knowledge, nobility, and take a plus ten. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fail it! I believe in you! You can do it! Where the hell's my knowledge nobility? Don't let no-go give you plus 10 to rolls and expect you to auto-succeed. You gotta defy expectations. I- why- why would I just- why would I not make him auto-succeed if I wanted that? I gotta give him there the roll, is. and then if he fucks it up... Perfect! <laughs> good! Okay, that's a- oh, that, wow. that is a success. Yeah, that was very- that was good. 28. Don't worry, I'm a big fan. You look down, all the way down, and chatting with a man with very long white hair uh, who seems to be sitting at the, sitting at the table, uh, bickering and talking with someone else. They seem to be getting a little bit heated, but not too much. You see her, the Barnaby B. Parnum. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only author of, of so many amazing tales, fantastic writing, among the most amazing novels that you've ever seen in your life, and she is an arm's reach away, and you are wearing purple. Like a king! But... I'm... I'm taken aback. We cut back to Boros. Boros, uh, you're headed down, probably headed towards the kitchen as Aethel Wind just makes a couple of what a bunch of fucking weirdos. <laughs> Gestures towards you, and Mayrock comes to, uh, to, 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 to stop you with Nixie so, so shortly behind. <laughs> speaking, speaking of weirdos, you can look back. You, uh, uh Steel, how do you pronounce your character's name? Uh, Mayrock. Mayrock. Well, Mayrock, you would have noticed that the mention of idiotic beast his fists are clenched. Yeah. <clears throat> I do notice that. Uh, and again, just sort of smile jovially at you and say, uh, I take it you're the help here, correct? In a manner, yes. Wonderful. I am single and ready to mingle, as oh, they say. Oh, dear God. And I was hoping you could show me to the area where such mingling can take place. He's leaving. <laughs> this way? <laughs> Fantastic. And I fall into step behind. <laughs> yeah, N uh, Nyx is gonna follow along with her barrel in hand, I guess. Uh, and as we pass the room on the left, I tap uh, him on the shoulder and say, hold on for a second, uh, idiot beast. What's in that room? He keeps walking. <laughs> Boros, Nixie, and Mayrock give me perceptions. 
Oh, sure. I have this. I might be the only one in the party. <laughs> see. God damn it. I was hoping somebody had it. Well. Mayrock and I'm... Nixie, as you both pass by the door, you'll be able to notice that there seems to be the a lowish murmur between two figures as they begin chatting. One very hoarse and very harsh in his tone, and the other uh, very relaxed and calm as he seems to be just, just calmly addressing the other. You can already know who these two figures are, but if you'd like to, you can most definitely listen in. I would love to do that. Uh, I do not. I don't have time. I got all the time in the world. I gotta follow this minotaur. All right. Uh, let me see if I can go through this as quickly as I, poss as I possibly can. Yeah, um, did I? I'll paraphrase it because I don't want to act out between myself and myself and fuck up my yeah, grammar totally. things even worse. But you yeah. hear discussion uh, between the two where he seems to be... Uh, the. The Lord seems to be calmly uh, welcoming his son. Uh, the son, very cold and very begrudging, ask is just, "What do you want of me, Father? Why did Why did you call me here?" And it's like it's it's your wedding, of course. Like why Why Allison's like that is not why you called me here. And it's like, listen, I just need you to be present for this one thing. You're free to go back to war at any time that you want. Past this, just enjoy the festivities, and why don't you relax for a little bit? Besides, uh, he, he, the Lord says that he's expecting a very great dowry, and he would like for the, the son to, uh, to acquire it. The son replies, asking, what is the dowry you want me to collect? And very quickly, you can see that their hush whispers go even further into hush whispers, and you're not able to gain any more from the conversation. Yeah. Curious, uh... Is the if I can even remember at this point, like Lex's relationship with his uh, this is his father, correct? Yep. Yeah. What was it like when like when I was a kid and and I saw them? Like, is this out of character for them to be talking to each other in this way? Um, it's been a long time. Yeah. For sure. It's been years and years and years and years. Um. But from what you're able to remember, Lek has always been rather aloof and rather distant, and would not do much unless he was explicitly asked to by his father, uh, who... You're not able to know if he was very doting or very demanding. Got it. Yeah. A, a, a strange mixture of the two. You know the type. Oh, okay. I'm over here. Yeah. Me. So then I think, uh, if it's not, not anything too out of character, she's certainly intrigued, but, uh... She will, uh, she'll continue on, uh, with Mayrock if she can catch up. Oi! So, bull! Did I catch, wait, did I catch any of that with the 18 I rolled? Did you roll the 18? Oh yeah, then yes. you would have, you would have caught it. Not Mayrock. Yeah, so okay. we, Mayrock so we just anyway, trapped, so <laughs> we trapped Mayrock in between us as we both stood there to listen. <laughs> <laughs> like he caught it, listened for a good minute, and then just kept walking. Yeah. And then, uh, oi, bull. Oi, right, bull. And then, guessing this the guard here? That's right. <laughs> it's me. God. <laughs> you acted as help, did I? You just motion to the garb he's wearing. Good. Stay here. Don't make so much as a sound. And the guard uh, goes to take his his keys, and he unlocks the kitchen door. And there's just clatter and clash, and you hear something furious. And it's like you fucking cheese curd, and a knife stabs into the door, having been thrown from across the room. As the head chef and his uh, a blazing orange knife. It looks very strange and very cool as his chef's assistant cowers with a platter in his hand. If you get it, if you get that so much as deliver that with it, not so much as a garnish, I'll fucking cut your head off! I can't believe we could afford him for this campaign. The budget must have been insane. <laughs> and, uh, the, he got brings Gordon the glad over to the master chef where he, he he garnishes it quickly you can see they seem to be some sort of like sweet dishes uh garnish and and oranges very 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 luxurious here and the 
Chef's assistant coyly. Here, for, for, for the banquet. All right, thank you. <laughs> Takes it, slams the door behind him. There you go, then. You just take it. What is this? Just a word or two. I'm cutting quite a bit. Um, kind of known. I, I've been trying to figure out ways to fix it, and I think it's just an inevitability at this point. So, is if the intent, if if any time the intent is lost when I'm saying something, then uh, tell me. Like, <laughs> what about a lot of time for that to happen? <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> welcome back welcome back to the comedy of errors <laughs> welcome welcome back to lesser recreation where every day is a new horror every and every day. week is a new stream layout every every time a challenge all right um <laughs> i have an idea what does it but i can't do it without sacrificing other things so i just have to suffer it but uh Got it. yeah i'll fix it one day one, one day a fairy will come in the chat and be like, Did you have the problem I had? I do. Nogo gets his name um, from when he wakes up every morning and says, Universe, please don't fuck me today. That's the reply. It says no. All right. But you were handed a platter of these very coolly garnished orange dishes. You, move, you turn around and I'm, and Mayrock is still there, just like move. Yeah. No, I think we're going this way. Actually, would you mind? You were showing me around. We can't go any further. Well, if I must lead you, then so be it. But uh, I do expect to uh, for you to tell me which direction we are going to the again designated mingling area. You know, I'm surprised you didn't. <clears throat> take the dagger out of the door there. It's like I always say, you know, see a knife, take a knife. <laughs> God damn it. Why? Why does he do that? I'm, I'm just sorry. saying, you seem like a man who's got some, some frustration pent up. But I imagine they're paying you good. Ironic. Like he snorted that. Like which which part is the ironic part? Not a talker? Understood. Well we're going upstairs here if you would be so kind. Wait. Like that that that, that layout is weird right here. So is this going up? Yeah, that's going up. That's, that is an upstair. And then it goes up top here? Or does it, it goes, go up further? There's an upper level, like a second map. Okay. That's my trick. I exist in two planes! Okay, I am so both just... upstairs and downstairs. Take us back down. Okay. So, with that being said, uh, is it just like empty right here? Like, are, there's it's nobody little, here but it's us? It's a little way to side path over by the stairway. So, it's it's like a little, little, little room. Boros just like looks around. Sleep for Mayrock. You wish to find where the mingling is at, are you correct? Uh, that is correct, yes. Please lead on. I feel <clears throat> less than comfortable just referring to you as idiot beast, so if you do decide that you prefer a different term, let me know. Boros. Oh, that's terrible. No, I'm gonna stick with the first one. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. Would you like... Would you like one? You know about the platter, do you? Oh, it depends. It. What do we What do we have? You'd hold it out for you as well, uh... Nixie? Yeah. Roll me 1d30. One Ooh, is bad. Me? Yes. For every uh, person you give this to. <laughs> oh, no. Nine. And then uh, one for Nixie, I guess, if she took it. 
And I, yeah, and I also I'll take it. Out, there is a door here. I just noticed it myself, and I just wanted to reveal it so you guys knew it was there. No, no, cool. I know. Yeah. Okay. So, very good. Nice. I got a high number. Oh, am I rolling as well? No, no, no. He, he rolled this okay. too. So he gave you right. one, and he gave Nixie one. Right. Now, and Nixie's was better. before y'all take a bite out of that, it's like, but you point the back, point back the way you came to Nixie. That's where the kitchen. Well, back the way they just came from. That's where the kitchen is. But for you, Mayrock, I know where they're meeting. I know where the lingering is at. Fantastic. Just up though. Just up those steps. But before you go, put that in my mouth. Which one's you your so favorite? Calm. Oh my god. He sort of was just like moving his hand over the platter, trying to decide. <laughs> uh. Oi! Why are you doing loitering? <laughs> Serving hors d'oeuvres. This... Hors d'oeuvres made for nobles, beast. You know better than that, don't you? He wasn't having He's... one. He was, however, taking an extremely long time to get this whole process moving. Where white might we find the waiting room? Damn it. Waiting room. Waiting rooms. That way. And he uh, points. He points towards uh, like out. I'll bring you there. Just fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not pointing nowhere. Just come here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Nyx is going to uh, wink at Boro Boros as uh, the guard goes past them. Um, and she's just going to take a step to let Mayrock go first and then reach out her tray so that Boros can grab some food. He points that if way. Not out. Ah, yeah. uh, back to the square I started in. <laughs> as you, you join with Alan and the others, you can see that they've somehow stopped in time. Yeah, just frozen. <laughs> just kind of chilling. Maybe possibly talking about wedding things. Oh, no, she was very blunt and just started asking the nobles, uh, have they seen <laughs> Silver-Haired Girl? Hmm. And Aethwind has disappeared. He's up to no good, but I've made the distraction. Gave him all he needed. Anyone else want to do anything with the guards out? No. I'm right. pretty sure you forced me to go forward, so. Listen, given the chance, I will fucking, like, just take over and start doing shit. I want to give other people a chance. It's just that, like, I have this fucking barrel and a tray, and I definitely cannot carry the boat. And I don't want to leave the barrel in the middle of the hallway, because it is, like, a sacred gift. But also, it's all fucking empty. Oh, so who cares? Oh, help do it. <laughs> so she's just kind of awkwardly standing in the hallway with a barrel and a tray of food, deciding what to do. Don't you need to go to the kitchen? Nixie. Saying words, but they're not being picked up by my mic. Um, uh, well, Welcome I... Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm supposed to give this to Lek, and she gestures to the, to the barrel. But uh, I'm having a bit of a trouble carrying both of these at the same time. And she, oh, like, yeah. lifts up her, her one arm. <laughs> well, Lek is indisposed, as you no doubt heard. Yes. Um, I'm Fish, by the way. Uh, who are you? If you don't mind me asking. Boros. Nice to meet you. Like, the, anger, the angry look in his face is starting to die down a little bit. He just looks tired. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Secrets out! <laughs> Wait, secrets out? Nothing, you'll see in a sec. Or maybe. Okay. But I'll cut over to Bayrock as you open the yeah. door, and uh, there is Astrid, and I gave you the wrong token. 
Or did I just not update your token correctly? Let me delete this and see if I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, that fuck. was the right token. Yeah, that was the right token. No, the... Uh, I guess I saved the one with the bar above your head. Whoops. I'll have to redo that. I also have to do Mayrox at all. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Neat. But uh, you didn't get a whole lot of chance to actually roleplay yet, Steel, so if you do want... You're free, you're free here, but Alan and Astrid, you, you do have the scene. So, yeah. I believe you're asking the three nobles here. Yeah. We've seen a silver haired kid. Yep. A silver haired child? Well, haven't spotted anyone like that, but I can't imagine they'd grow up to be anything less than an absolute beauty. Oh, silver hair. I'll have to request. Maybe my maybe my papa might be able to get some sort of silver dust. Oh, that okay, would be thank you. She just walks away from them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just yep. Yeah, just leaving them to that conversation. Continuing to go. We <laughs> out the door. Yeah. They're <laughs> heading to wherever this is. She has no idea what's in this room. Yeah. I am guarding the. The, the the bride to be. <laughs> that is my job currently. You try the handle to the door. It is locked. Neat. Um. How sturdy is this door? Uh, it's, it's a pretty standard wooden door. She's going to just kind of sigh. You know how I have a key, do you? Uh. Standard guard equipment keys? No. Unfortunately, no. Oh, it was well. a long shot. I've got the universal key right here. Boom! That's oh my god. <laughs> Just flinches back from this monstrosity of a woman kicking the door in. Just bring your shoulder down. <laughs> What do I need to roll? Strength check? Just... I think a wood door is like... There's a... You can take 10 on it. I think it's like a okay, DC 12. 10. Okay, yep. Yeah, I get a 13 if I take a 10 on it. Boom! You smash down the door. Uh, well, you don't smash it down. More, more likely, you put all of your weight into the lock of it. Uh, there's a pretty loud sound... Uh, that that breaks out, and you can, and May Rock, you'll see the nobles be like, "Well, what was that? That it couldn't be a window broke or something like that." No, <laughs> it was just the door. Fuck! You come inside to see that it seems to be a mostly very empty room, but you do seem to, you do see that it seems like. Uh, there seems to be a number of like it's like there's a child-sized bed. Uh, there seems to be what like a toy chest uh, in the in the top right, and you can see emblazoned on it uh, in very large, very embossed letters, Lek, L E K. That's not quite the way I was supposed to get to my husband's bed, but uh, it works. <laughs> yes, <I'd>... well. <laughs> Sorry, the bed's not child size. It's like a normal bed that a kid slept on. It, so, yeah. hmm. Hmm. But why would they lock the room? Uh, to keep someone inside, or something. Hmm. Uh, this place looks like it's been lived in recently. Uh, you can see the. Give me a perception check, actually. Can she's going to take her time with this perception check? I'm going to take a twenty. <laughs> Um. I'm going yeah, to do something sure. else. You're you're investigating. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. So that. Well, she's be... taking a twenty. I'm going to cast detect magic. That would be a twenty-two. You do not detect any sort of magic in this room. You were able to detect that there seem to be some very childlike drawings uh, that you find scrambled detect underneath what? the door. Some of them seem as though they are. Um, very old, very weathered, but some of them seem rather recent and well composed for a child of however much must lived in this room. 
Otherwise, you'll find... Oh, that's... Whoop. Otherwise, you'll, you'll take a quick investigation to see that the room, in fact, uh, it, it's mostly covered and completely enshrouded in dust. Except behind the dresser. A quick nestle over to the side, and you find a passageway. Seems like... I was supposed to be here to officiate a wedding. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're the, you're the goatee. Yeah. You nod. That and my sister. Well, it seems like we're uncovering mysterious plots wherever I go. What are we doing? Up for a little adventure, princess. Oh, I, 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 I'm interested in looking, uh, see what's down there. Why would, uh, why would they have a hidden passageway in Clunk. the child's old room? Hmm? Is that door ah. always open? Uh, the princess wanted in, so didn't really seem right to stop her. Yes. <laughs> uh, hold on. Just shrug. Wrong guard. There we go. Ah! What are you doing here? You can't be in the young master's old room. Well, I am. Unfortunately, this passage here is forbidden. But what's that then? He, uh, peeks inside. Uh, you do have the chance to quickly nestle the dresser back over if you'd like. <laughs> no, she's gonna leave it open for him. Just like, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, we're just investigating this. We're like, how did this get here? Oh. It's just like... Looks like the old dungeon. Old Hasn't dungeon. been used at a time. Oh, that's, that's incorrect. The dresser had been moved recently. That's how I was able to tell. Mm, that's impossible. Ooh, yeah, gotta stop fibbing like... stories, lass. If I was going to fib, wouldn't I have hidden everything from you? <sighs> True enough. But you better go get on your way, or the Lord gets mad at less. You're right. I'll get on my way. She just walks away. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come Astrid on, Missy. No shit. <laughs> come on, Missy. Don't make my job harder. I thought you could pull one over. Are you going to tongue. physically stop me? Yeah, why? Well, yeah, she. <laughs> she kind of has a point there. She's just, just kind of tapping oh. the old man on the. <laughs> do you want shoulder. to wrestle old Tom? No, I'm no, going to do something else. No, she's not going to wrestle him. <laughs> she's going to pick him up and put him in the other way and just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a grapple. <laughs> Oh, good. That's the one I'll thing I give it. Give me a CMD. <laughs> <I> just. just... <laughs> uh, this is not the oh, pacing that I expected, but I. Just I, another I... Tuesday for old Tom. <laughs> you, you try to get a grip on old Tom, but he's far too wily. It's your wedding day, you it, Lassie. You can't be touching places like. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, old, old Tom, was it? <laughs> I'm too ticklish! Oh, stop it! <laughs> Sorry about this. Color spray. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's see, he's old as fuck. I'll give him like a neg. Eight. Uh, yep. I know your nope. DC. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I, I see. I see pretty colors. Uh, and Tom clocks out. Uh, um, what did you do? Really love him. Cody? We didn't kill him. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, does Tom have any weapons on him? He in fact does. Uh, in addition to that. I have a little... But they're not sharp. They don't let the old man go around. He, he's, like, supposed to be retired. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, you'll be able to find Old Tom has a masterwork longsword on his person, 
uh, an exception to his his standard issue short sword, as well as all of the guards seem to be wearing armored coats and have light wooden shields. Oh, it was probably oh. his retirement present for his last oh. day on the job. <laughs> and then they oh. turn him around anyways. He takes the long sword and the wooden shield. We're about to go down into a, an unknown dungeon. It's better to be armed. I like the armor too, as he's just picking up a bed sheet and is about to fucking is about to tie the old man up and put a gag in his mouth. All right. <laughs> Would you like to leave old Tom here or take him down? No, just putting him on the bed. Yeah. I mean, if the Tom arm took a nap, old Tom got tired. That checks out. <laughs> Does the armor look like it'll fit? Yes, actually. Old Tom's a pretty. Uh, are, are you wearing? Are you trying to wear the stuff, or is Alan trying to wear it? Uh. I believe he said, "Yeah, uh, no, I'm trying to wear it." You're I currently, I currently have armor on, so I'm asking. The, the armored hide, uh, it's it's quite small but manageable. You have a pretty slender frame, so it's hide armor. It is an armored coat. Armored coat. That is, I think, four AC and medium armor. Is it medium armor? Okay. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Armor bonus plus four, max dex bonus plus three, armor check penalty minus two is medium oh, armor. Don't fucking okay. bad talk old Tom like that. He's been serving diligently for like 30 years. <laughs> like even Just those 30 years like, caught up with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, real bad too. Retirement why, couldn't even stop him. Which is why I was very gentle with him. <laughs> Right. He seemed like a nice guy. However, <laughs> adventure. <laughs> with with nothing left to discover in this room, you two will... Oh, uh, actually, if you want to, there seems to be uh, about 50 gold worth trinkets and baubles if you are thieves. But she's not a thief. I didn't think so. Uh, and you'll descend <laughs> down into the depths of the manor, but we will go to ah. Mayrock now. <laughs> I would ask if she would help me uh, block or Oh, first close the door and then block it with the, uh, the dresser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't have any more guards walking in, especially with me wearing armor. They might be they might be wondering what I'm planning on doing on my wedding night. <laughs> Only the best. <laughs> Mayrock has been like fifteen paces down the east wing before there's like the sound of something breaking and a door being shattered, and he like instantly pivots, walks back, nearly bumps back into Boros, and says, Alright, first of all, did you hear that? <laughs> what? <laughs> hear what? The sound of destruction. No. Okay. I've been trying to get this one to either help me or move. Well, fantastic. Neither Sorry. of those things are happening right now. Um, and I, I peer around, see Nixie, and say, because you now have two options. Option one is you can go down to that East Hall and report whatever is going down there and probably get a raise. And I wait for a moment expectantly. <laughs> or option two, if a raise is not in your future, then we should be taking this opportunity to move as far away from the source of the commotion as possible. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> and in Thank fact, uh, very shortly behind the two, you'll see that there seems to be a a very very small bumbling of oh yeah, like it's not camera centered. God damn, jamming and camera and cutting voice out very hard <laughs> make big sad as uh you can see that a soldier uh not a soldier a guard over here seems to be uh bumbling over looking around for the noise but he checks like the guest room first and everything else and uh it seems like they're gonna take some time for they for they see what happened is this door locked uh <laughs> you try it it is not mm -hmm. It's that's probably exactly where your sister is too. <laughs> I was about to say, that's where my sister. Like you just look in. Like if if I were being honest oh, right now, goodness. like if this was like an actual module, I would have suspected you guys read the book because you beeline that shit. <laughs> you try to speed no, run my it's just, it's just No, it's just sitting right here. You and find what the. You find a room that seems to be filled with a, a, a smattering of herbs and flower pots. Most of them seems like they have been uh, given the, the black thumb treatment and very poorly maintained or grown in this tiny little grow house. But a couple of plants have been able to uh, make make the cut. And they seem to be... 
So before you two say a damn thing, Boro shoves you both in and closes the door as quietly as he can. Nixie goes, oh, my barrel's out there. <laughs> he said, I said quietly. And uh, he is going to scarf this platter down. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to need a one. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. It's probably poisoned. Okay, so you're eating every single one. Son. Uh, he's gonna eat enough to where he feels like he's not gonna, one like two. he's not gonna get sick. One bad, two good. Okay. Did I? Did I really need to be here? Ha! Suck it! You are scarfing down these tiny little, uh, like fruit sort of platters and trying to scarf down as many as you can, but. You eat one, and it's like air, and then you eat the other, and it's air, 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 nothing. This is all nothing. This is just... What is this? And you guys uh, take a look at it and see that it seems to be some sort of a strange little dish. Does anyone have any culinary skill or any sort of knowledge local that they'd like to make? Negative. No. Uh, I could do, like, a magic -y check, but I don't have anything culinary. Uh, you can make, remember, you can make any knowledge check, it's just that they're untrained, so I'll call it group check, it's just if you guys want to. Okay. Yeah, for sure, I'd love to. What yeah. kind of knowledge check would this be for food? Local. Just a straight up okay. knowledge, probably, right? Oh, local, yeah. I mean, it's basically the same thing, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Minus. Oh, we got one. Nah, I'm good. All right. These seem to be, uh, Nixie, you take a look at them really quickly and you see that they seem to be these, uh, these orange souffles. And they're, they're these thing, these foreign dishes, uh, that are ext extremely popular for being so light and airy that you just can't gain any weight off of them. Ah, uh, of course. Perfect uh, for a nobleman's feast. Very yeah. bad for our starving Boros. Yeah. Nixie, uh... Nixie gestures to them and goes, uh, 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 Sorry, Boros, those, uh, those are supposed to keep people, uh, fit. I don't think that's probably what you're after. He, Would I have a he snack? He looks like he's about to tear this thing in half. Would I have, like, a snack? <laughs> Can I have a snack on me? I don't know, did you buy snacks? <laughs> and I did you have buy snacks. Sure you, didn't. You, you, you know what? Tell me, what would your character reasonably be carrying right now? I want to. I want to know the pirate's life. Jerky. Oh, wait. No, probably. Well, yeah, it would still be fish jerky. I think. Yeah. You, fish eat other fish. You you're carrying around jerky on your person, just. Well, yeah. I Makes legitimately sense to me. You would got think jerky. so. <laughs> It'd probably be like jerky and hardtack if you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I, not good, but I, there. I, I watched this exchange for a moment, and like as this boar is, or the the cow is just like scarfing down his food as best he can, I just kind of walk over to the side door and just open it to the outside. That's wait, is that a door? Blank. I believe so. Door to the outside there. Yeah, it's got a little handle. Oh right, yeah. Straight line of the guard. But yeah, just just yeah. again, totally blank expression. Just let it swing open. So, uh, can I roll to stop him? Yeah. No. Uh, I don't or know. He's try reasonably could um, I mean he's going to first try off, first off let me let me go over the jerky so she he, she gives you jerky what do you do uh, he was about to eat it and then he see he blatantly oh. sees about to go open the fucking door let's make it a choice you can either scarf down this jerky or you can go for the door man fuck it I'm eating this jerky yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the right choice Okay, Boros, for start, take any of the negatives you get from being starved and reduce them by half. Okay. Not quite there, but this is definitely yeah. hitting it. Mirak, yeah, it's just uh, jerky. <laughs> what's your intention here? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Well, I, I need an escort and a scapegoat, and I don't need this fucking beast to, uh, to start causing problems until I'm well and ready. So I need to 
uh, make sure that one of the guards comes and intervenes in this whole thing um, just to kind of keep things on the fucking download so I can find my key. After that point, you know, whatever happens past that happens, but it, it needs to be a slow build. I need a minute here before things get crazy. And this this individual who's in a jester costume and looks like he's about to kill somebody, he's got a he's got a look in his eye that suggests to me that I don't actually have a minute. Okay. So you swing open the door, uh, Boros. You 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 you're, you're trying to make your way back over there. Maybe you, maybe you make it a little bit of a couple a few steps. But just the jerky is so goddamn good and salty and flaky and sweet, and you haven't tasted fish in so goddamn long. And the door yep. swings open, and the guard standing at attention over there by the uh, by the servants' quarters notices and goes, "Hey, guest not supposed to be. Save! What are you doing?" Taking a break. Break! Slaves don't get breaks! I'll let you run back in. Sorry about the problem, sir. Look at me. And fucking. Wabap! And he's going to, uh, just a. just a closed fist smack across the face. Okay. Would you like to take this? I am going to take this. Okay. I mean, I, I, I just fucking all I can do. I have, I'm a fighter with no armor. I can't do shit. Boom! Cleave straight into the jaw. Uh, you'll take five non-lethal damage. Fucking Christ, and he man! He knocks you on the fucking ground. Non-lethal, not lethal. You did half okay. all your penalties. And Mayrock says in kind of a snooty voice, <clears throat> and look, his hands are covered in pastry. My god. I'll tell the Lord about this at once. You make yourself clear out of the lady's herb garden, or I'll have your head for this. Understood? Hmm. Understood. Filthy half beast. Do you hear me about the non lethal damage? Yeah. Okay, because because you took I four mean, off your your health, and I I just didn't want to. There's not. I say there's not a way to really track it on this sheet. Uh, if you want, if you use your token, you can use the green tracker and put it in the eggs. All right. Mm. That's what I usually do. Oh no. Smart. Smart. Non lethal damage is your current health. Uh, just unconscious. I use that for temp HP or neg or 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 whatever else, but yeah. And he's gonna push you and Nixie, assuming that she's also a servant, uh, back into the hallway. Alrighty. But Mayrock, you can stay. As the guard turns and says, Oi, did a good thing showing off that save there. Don't know where they get the pretension. They can, they can eat off. They can go and eat off in front of their betters. Well, you know what's got good men in you? I appreciate that. It wasn't my intention. I just uh, was trying to get away from... Uh, the source of, of that <laughs> not exactly distinguished act. <coughs> yeah. Jesus. Right. As you were, then. Please, feel free to enjoy the code. Enjoy the party. Before you go, I am attempting, and I have not stopped attempting, to locate a way, a place, that I can give this wedding gift to the bride and groom. Is there a safe place that I can put this object? Oh, well, I... I guess if you... are really trying... Let me... let me ask you a question. What's your name? Oh, me? I'm Isaac. Hi, Isaac. Arriving. You and I are going to have a good, long relationship. What are the two? I'm not really sure. I'm trying to think Isaac, of a Norse name, Isaac. but it's just not common. Right, Isaac and Ivan. It's it's you know live your life. Uh, <laughs> Mayrock has his one possession, which is his long vellum tube. Uh, it's waterproof and really really nice. Um, that has like the map of the continent on it, and he unrolls it um, and shows that he has defaced his own map um, with designs, dozens of them, of of a three pronged key uh, and a big like here's the hidden treasure mark, and it's about like a mile west of this particular building. Uh, and he says, 
Now, Clan Torsten has uncovered the source of great riches, and I wish to provide the details of this to the bride and groom. And when the wedding is concluded, I will speak to Master Throki about its meaning directly, but I need somewhere to safe to place this in the, for the time being. Well, um, of course, my lord. Uh, I imagine I, I could deliver it straight to him, straight away. I know the lord like the back of my hand. Uh, I, I take the, the map, like I'm, I'm very suspicious of Isaac, Ivan, all of a sudden, and say, you'd understand if an individual came into possession of wealth of this nature, they would they would be more than a lord immediately. They would be elevated to greatness. How long have you worked for Mr. Throki? It's not that I don't trust you particularly. I just was hoping for um, perhaps an escort whom, whom I can trust. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I can't take that boy seriously because you have a map in your hands and you're speaking like that. And all I could th- I'm just smiling ear to ear because all I can think of is Mick Cage. <laughs> Oh, perfect. We have to steal the declaration. <laughs> um, the the guard scowls a, a little bit and just says, If you're looking for a safe place, well... A, a vault. Where does Lord Throki keep his valuables? Oh, would that be the office, of course? Can you get one of the guards or yourself to please escort me there so that I may return to my single mingling. Uh, well, no. I, I, I imagine that the Lord would be rather quite busy with his son and all, and they must have been talking, but uh, of course I could show you the way. Thank you, Isaac. And between us, it is important to me, and you must promise me, that the images of this key that you have seen. You must scrub that from your mind. You have seen nothing. Again, I cannot stress enough the riches that await uh, within this sacred location. Yeah, of course, my lord. I'm gonna be honest. I can't hold this voice for very long, so can we t- can we get a roll on with this? Uh, and we mosey. Uh, and he will take you back out to the hallway and show you to this door, and he will begin knocking on the door. He'll be like, my lord! My lord! Ah. While that's happening, uh, Nixie's gonna put down her her food and grab the bear. He just walked by. She's gonna start. She's gonna grab the barrel. She's gonna chase after Lek. <laughs> Lek, Lek, Lek. It, 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 to it's sneak fish. Away off camera. <laughs> I have to. I have to hold that encounter off for just. Yeah, a absolutely. Uh, but the Plus, guard. We gotta hear from Jonathan soon, man. The guard rat. I know. I'm trying it because I because I have to get the four pieces, but it'll all come together. You all join together. You see, it's it's got layers. This this plot. It's got it's got layers. Stop! Stop! It's stop! Like you're, ma- you're rambling like a madman. Just get it done. Just get it done. <laughs> it's got strings. Like an onion. <laughs> it's like an onion. This plot's like an onion. It's got Just... layers. Um. <laughs> but no, the guard knocks. He's like, oh, oh. I guess the lords absent and uh he fiddles for a key and opens the office oh fuck every time they click and reveal it does hide i don't know why it does that i hate it i hate it a lot oh and he enters in what oh well i suppose you could leave it here on his his office desk, and the guard is back turned to you, looking at the regal wonders of the office. Real quick, I want to describe this, as this is the same reliquary uh, that uh, Alan got his fucking head clubbed in. Um, as you can see, all over the shelves there are all sorts of baubles of mystic and wondery things, weird slithering tentacles, and these paintings of the strange esoteric images of just uh, something. Uh, a mass of tentacles uh, with, with uh, teeth the first thing that comes to mind would be a kraken, but it's not quite right. And hanging at the uh, the very tip of this massive room and consuming piano that has been very uh, lovingly constructed to be horrifying is a very shiny great silver sword. As well, there's some magic items laying around if you if you're very particular there, but at at a glance you do not find a key. Fair enough. Yeah, I said this would be perfect, Isaac. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll just sort of set it somewhere near in this room carefully. Uh, Again, making a big show of how precious this thing is. 
this vellum map tube. And then we leave. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's enough invest best beginning. There's a lot of roleplay today. I was hoping we'd get into the second half of it, but I guess it's not looking likely. When I, combat does happen, it's going to be a lot of combat. I, I I misconstrued how much how much time going between four different perspectives would really be. All right, Minnie, yeah. how's Twitter? Uh, looking pretty good. Uh, Gura uh, tweeted something about like playing Ring Fit. Uh, anyways, I don't want to hear about VTubers, even though that I basically constructed my entire D and D assembly to basically be a mini VTuber. Yeah, what's going PNG on? PNG tubers. Ah, oh, real, 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 real funny tweet. Got got a funny thumbnail. Ha ha he who. I do not care about a single thing about VTubers. You are in <laughs> the palace. Oh my god! I do not have a single. My fucking shit doesn't work. Why it? Do that. I hate it. Let's play this. Man, imagine imagine the amount of prep time once you've like once you don't have a job. Yeah. <laughs> Barnaby B. Barnum in the flesh, and it seems that she's in a very heated discussion. The Lord Throki has just come out of his very small meeting, uh, but uh, pays the purple boy in his chambers very little mind, and instead seems to pass by you and head up the hallway. Uh, actually, he can't physically do that, so I guess he stays here. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> guess guess he doesn't. <laughs> Except he. What if he didn't? What if he went through the wall? Hear me out. Anyways, uh, is it a good idea? <laughs> Hear me out. To uh, approach reeking of alcohol. I don't think there's anything immediately in here that can uh, alleviate the problem, because uh, you said it was full of, like, trinkets and war trophies and uh, dead animals? Was it was it mounted animals? Yep, absolutely. There's a giant stag skull in the second story that's just hanging down, looming at you. Uh, hmm. What are these, uh, what are these nobles in front of me? What are they doing? They're just discoursing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I figured. Do they have food, or is all the food uh, being delivered eventually by a minotaur? There, there is a banquet that seems to have been splayed out, but you can see that the nobles have set upon it by wolves. Uh, there is some food still left, but it's mostly scatterings and, and leftovers and other sorts of stuff. Jeez. They're waiting for the dessert, of course. wonder what happened to that. Jesus. They're like animals. <laughs> um, fuck it, I guess. Uh, Jonathan's gonna, gonna go in. And like, I guess, I guess he'll start edging his way into the conversation, like listening in uh, All I'm first. Saying, of course, the white-haired man explains. Perhaps it would be good if you would delay your visit to Threspire. Times are tough. Things are dangerous. The, sh the, the rivers are extremely off this year. And I told you that I'm not going to be leaving. I'm. I need to make my document on Threspire today, and you are not stopping me, old man. I don't care whatever it is, little corrupt games you think you'll be playing. I intend to make my book full and scathing. And you approach. And what uh, I, is that smell? I pick up a. Uh, I pick up a drink off the table. And uh, I walk past like I'm going to look at something on the other part of the room. And uh, when I do, I bump into her and spill my drink. Uh, <laughs> on, on there. <laughs> Did you spill oh, oh. it? Oh, yeah, oh. Well, maybe like on the table in front of her, but it's dripping down onto her dress. You know, got some on her food, maybe a little. I, I like, I've like stumbled. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, no. Do we have any? Do we have any like uh, uh, towels or anything? No. Uh, Save it. And with a little wiggle of her finger, you can see this light magic seems to waft through the air, and uh, the purple stain is immediately cleaned. She is, makes no effort to cleaning you. <sighs> oh. Thank I'm you. I spilled a little on myself uh, when I when I stumbled. Perhaps you should not be walking around with nails in your boots. 
Can I help you any? You seem to be lingering a long time for a serving boy who spilled a tray. Oh, I was just looking about at the room. Say, so you, you look kind of familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Undoubtedly. Really? Really? Where where would I... Were you, were you, uh... Were you a traveling performer, maybe? Or I do not I know chat you from... with the help. Excuse me. She turns to oh. snub you. Snub me. Hmm. Uh, ooh. Cold shoulder. Uh, uh however, white-haired man is going to step up. <laughs> and, uh, let me see if I have a, a picture of this, this, this man. I sure do. Uh, do you have any... You, no, you don't. Just give me a 1d20. <laughs> me? Right. Yeah, just throw it. 15 good. Fuck. God, how do I do the 1d20 again? Uh, dash, space, r, d, 20. It should be dash, or dash r, r, space. space. Yeah, I, I, there's I, no space. Brain hurt to eat 11 o'clock. <laughs> Hooray. You have an inkling who this guy is, but eh, not really. Uh, and I'll show him. As he does seem to be carrying around a sword on his back. Uh, uh, unique up among any of the guests. Excuse me, that was rude. Please come now, Barney. You can see he's clearly some sort of fan. Even if he is some noble scion, couldn't you at least give him the time of day? And he, he, he passes you a quick wink. I, I wink back to him, maybe a couple finger guns. <sighs> what do you want? Oh, you know, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, uh, could, could you sign just one book? What? Just, just one book, if I could get your signature. Just to, you know. <sighs> Fine, make it quick. Uh, I reach into my satchel and I pull out my uh, first edition copy of uh, Rock You Like a Hurricane, <laughs> the best-selling book about rocks. Vinny, I want, I want to hear your saddest expression. My your saddest satchel, expression. absolutely drenched as you give her your wet, I figured. soppy, and ruined <laughs> first edition copy of Rock You Like a Hurricane. Uh, I do it with a smile on my face. No. <laughs> a pain smile, a pain smile, but I'm I'm keeping composed. This this woman uh, looks at you like you shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not signing this. Well, I mean, sure you could. You just need, like, you know, a no, pen. I, and I, no, I, I absolutely refuse. I, I, I will not even acknowledge this is my work. You've ruined it. I don't know how uh, you've ruined it. Well, uh, I have a different like was, book, if you'd rather... It looks like it was crushed between the very rocks it was written about. Ah, uh, no. you know... Save it. I've talked to you long enough. Please, disperse. I splashed my drink on her again. <laughs> <laughs> this Oops! Oh god, I'm so sorry. Oh no, oops. Ah, jeez. Guess you gotta... The look of the white-haired man, and she just stands up, and it's like... Why I never... Oops, gosh, gotta clean up all this wine. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, man. Lord Throwkey, have him... <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing at the situation too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> have him Mr. Thrown... Electric, send him to the principal's office and have him expelled! <laughs> I demand he be put in cuffs at once! Now, Lady Barnum, I demand it! Um, well, my esteemed just... guest, whose son are you, by the way? Whose oh, son are uh... you, by the way? Oh, Lord Happenstance. All right, to the prison. Ah, <laughs> darn, I knew I should have gone with something else. <laughs> and in moments. <laughs> moments. Boom, boom. Are you he gonna... claps his hands. Guards, gonna... guards. Are you gonna resist? Um, hmm. Am I still covered in wine? Yes. 
I'm too slippery for them to catch. It's not oil, that it's checks wine. out. Yeah. He definitely <laughs> wouldn't be stickier. <laughs> definitely wouldn't be easier to get him. No, I'm I'm sliding around. That, how do you think I stumbled in the first place? Okay. Taking easy with his least best-selling book. I'll we'll give a CMB. Does that beat your CMD on your sheet? You should see it mm -hmm. under defenses. Yeah, let me uh, pull it up. Also, the answer is guaranteed yes. I mean, unless you're my CMD time. is 14. They they rustle you under each arm as you try to slippery butterman your way out. However, oh no, I put on my wine pants and not my butter pants. <laughs> the the white-haired man uh, wraps two fingers onto the table, calling attention. You must have my apologies, ma Master Throki. It would seem that my young scion f forgets himself. You must understand the government officials these days in Thresbire. As it were, people are just not as they used to be. Please. I'm sorry. We'll release him back to my care. The... Uh, the normally very calm and very cool-mannered lord, uh, seems to... Oh, um, yes. Of course. Please. Young lad, you are free. Please think better about your actions and wear better shoes to a party, won't you? I, I look down at my shoes, I'm like, well, what, what's wrong with my shoes? Just, like, under my breath. Slip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, I, 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 uh, I go next to, uh, gone. Oh, I go next to, uh, the, uh, the white haired man. And I loudly say, thank you, sir. Constance for, uh, helping me because man, Don't I'm such anything. a big fan. I was, uh, so nervous and stumbled so Shut badly. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Don't say a word. Look to your feet. Never make eye contact with a noble. He he's whispering this to you. <laughs> oh. I I nod. I go, guess. Go about what you were doing. Be precarious. Second floor. She keeps her belongings. She'll be distressed. Go. Uh. Alrighty, I guess I get up and start making way for the door. Uh, you do not have a choice in the matter. Oh, boy. <laughs> but you but you did it anyway, so you're good. And I'm willing. You make your way out to the door. <sighs> reverse, reverse. <laughs> nope. Going downstairs. You two descend down a very long staircase to where the snow, the, the the permafrost steadily begins to turn to stone, and eventually you come across two very large iron doors, which are thankfully unlocked. Mm. Alan, this place is familiar. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the dungeon. This isn't the place we came up from. Or is it? Wait. It was. You were blindfolded. Oh. Just. I think we've walked in a gigantic. I think I've walked in a gigantic circle. So your sister's not down here. She just sounds really disappointed, swords just going f from upright held position to slightly just down at her side. Uh, I mean, I didn't get to explore the rest of it, if you wish to continue. Okay. <laughs> Marching forwards. Mm. Uh, I forgot my gun. SFX, so I gotta do it myself. <laughs> 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 How are y'all enjoying my carrot top performance today? <laughs> you 
All you can hear are the distressing groans of a couple of uh, very lethargic and very underfed prisoners. You can see in a corner one, which looks like he was speckled in noble clothing, is completely dead still. As you turn over the corner in this very plain looking, just it's a, it's a castle basement. You know what I mean? Like it's it is utilitarian as shit. Is there anything down this way? Uh, no, it's just a dead wall. Okay, making sure. Which, uh, b in other words, a cut-off map that I had to, uh... You know what? No! No, there is something that way. Uh, you'll see a, uh, there is a steel door, uh, and you, you quickly check it to find that it is locked. Okie dokie. Oh. Down this tunnel, you can see two guards. Uh, they seem to be set up at a table by a wooden, like a, a big wooden blockage. Uh, and they're sitting on a table uh, playing cards. I got one Queen's Heart of Quarters, an Archer, and Siege Engine. Well, you go fuck yourself. <laughs> she oh. starts. She starts just walking straight down the hall towards. Oh them. my God. <laughs> Oh. Uh, princess, might not be the best idea. <laughs> Who's the prince of these? The two guards turn to attention. Hey! Uh, you ain't supposed to be down here! And they're to be. Wrong weapons. Uh, just, I'm, uh. <laughs> I'm the new lady of this hold. Why is there any place that's barred to me? Some kind things you ain't supposed point. to see, miss. Hmm. Stand down! Is that men's armor? My god, she's bespeckled down. She just kind of looks around, looks back at the person stuck in this cage. This pro looks like he's being starved, right? Yeah, he's emaciated as shit. Hmm. It's good to know that uh, my father-in-law is so kind to his prisoners. Oh, it's good to know his god, he hate. Do not condone this wedding at all. <laughs> I'm starting to think I don't, uh, I don't condone this wedding either. And she stares towards the guards. <laughs> this drawing sword hand crackling with electricity. <laughs> this will be over quick. Mm, what she Fun does up. is her sword bursts into flames. Oh. And she activates her blessing on it. And combat has started. Okay. These guards are, as said before, they are wearing, they are wielding short swords and seem to have armored coats. She was just going to ask them what the fuck is going on what? here, but they... <laughs> they decided okay, uh, to go I the was, other direction. I was given a short sword as my weapon, correct? You did not have a weapon that you were given. You were actually unarmed. Which is why oh. I was kind of curious why you were so damn brave. Okay, sorry. I, I thought it was. I thought I had was at least given a sword. So I'll give you uh, a short Tom, sword, anyways. Uh, yeah, just, Tom just no longer has a short sword on him. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that yeah, that works. Yeah. All right. Uh, are you guys able to right-click add turn on your tokens? By any chance? Nope. Only me. Fantastic. Uh, when you roll your initiative, just go ahead and manually add it to the tracker. Since if you highlight all the tokens, then right-click and say add turn, it'll add automatically oh, all of them to the... That's good. So you know. don't have to do it individually. Okay. Oh, she's so ready for this. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see here. Yeah. Also, you, there was a spare short, so... Yeah, of course. I mean, Tom had you, you said Tom had, Tom had a short sword. Uh, yeah, on. yeah, he had yeah. one. What am I on about? I forgot he yeah. had two weapons. I forgot I gave you the long, the long, the long sword. Yeah. Thirteen. Okay. Look, that man, we. Well. Uh, it's gonna oh, they're gonna have. Up, but let's put some fire on, anyways. <laughs> White boxes. All right. All no, right. Let's get rid of that. Oh. So that's a coat of plates, right? That's metal armor. <laughs> All right, Astrid, top of the round. 20 feet, the floor is damp. Shh, shh. Make it a charge attack. So. 
Wow. I didn't think I was going to need two sessions for this, like I said. Hmm. Oh. Does that hit him? That will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Excellent. Jesus. Wait, are you proficient in long swords? I am. I'm a proficient in all martial weapons. <laughs> She's not aiming for non-lethal this time, by the way. It just slowly pulls the sword out of his throat and then just looks to the guy next to her. He's She's not saying sword. anything. That's Alan. what you get for doing your job in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> Alan. Okay. Uh, right. So, might as well do the same. We let's, <laughs> let's do this. So, swift action, enchanting my sword to be plus one. <laughs> we and off we go. Since this is a short sword, not a long sword, now I can actually hit things. Possibly. Um, boop. 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 Sixteen. Just in the mark. Okay. So that plus dish. I don't have strength, but. There's a second attack coming up. <laughs> that will hit, and you see him drop down to a uh, to a stagger, uh, his weapons falling out of his hands. He's ah. still conscious, but he's he's completely staggered and he's out of the fight. <gasps> As you see, like you uh, stab straight through a lung. Got it is ended. <laughs> That's a dead man unless he gets some healing. <coughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh and shit! That... She, she just kind of bends in. I'm sure these men were begging for f just before they died. Hmm. And then just stands up and <gasps> finishes wa walking over the body. To look what's back here. Is he motioning to anywhere for the for said potion? Yeah, he seems to be uh kinda kinda glancing towards behind him at a big massive pile huh. blockade. <laughs> Just and kind of <laughs> walks over him. Thank you. Pointing me in the direction. What you'll be able to find is in this massive blockade, you can see that it is an assortment of guards' weapons uh, that have all been stacked up against this like wooden wall. Uh hey. So you see spears, swords, um, various other pieces of equipment, bows, things, things that might need, as well as a couple of suits of armor. All what leather kind armor, of... but ah, uh. and a, an armored coat as well. Uh, but you can clearly see through the poking holes that there seems to be something behind this. Oh yeah, and you find you see you find one cure light wounds potion. She's going to start moving the pile aside so that she can get past to see what's beyond. So, it was just a singular potion? Just one Cure Light Wounds potion. Okay, you would pocket that. Might be useful for later. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You start shuffling the blockade over and start moving it away. And all sound begins to fade out. Left. Underneath this small cavern, this small cove, you can see what seems to be the remains of some much older ruins. 
uh, and they've been built upon and built upon. A number of ruined long ships stand uh, just tucked into a small part of this cove uh, with a very expressive entrance to the outside. One boat seems to be in full repair. A rather large one at that, but it seems like it's very capable of being handled by only a few people. It is primed and ready to leave at any time. Does there appear to be anybody on the boat right now? There is no one in this room. Hmm. It is a hidden cove. Seems to be like some sort of escape route if I don't say so myself. Conveniently hidden in the princess chambers. It's now a good time to say that the princess stepmother wants me to kill the... to kill her stepson. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of looks over at you skeptically. Okay, so we handled a few guards there, that's true. But he's a war hero. I think he might be a little harder. It's like, that's exactly what I was thinking. So were they using your sister as leverage against you? Yes, and uh... There's almost a few other things that the men of the house simply should not have in his possession. So she stops and she thinks for a minute. Um, Nogo, does the... Does the lady of the house have a separate room? Uh, not from the lord, no. Not from the lord? Okay. Because I know that's somewhat common, but she doesn't. Does she have an office space or anything? Yes. Uh, you probably wouldn't know it, but I'll give you a chance. And I'll, I'll just say maybe maybe you heard a whisper about it uh, as the lady retreated upstairs or something along the lines. You were, you were on the second floor. You'll know that it is a, a, a locked room on the second floor. Uh, the lady has an office on the second floor. Might be that's where they're keeping your sister. If, since I don't see her down here. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for that information. Uh... I take it you'll be taking this boat to go once you get your sister. And I take it you might want to come along. <laughs> Well, considering I just uh, murdered some of his men, I don't, I don't think the marriage will go very smooth. Well, you do seem... well if you didn't marry, you didn't seem to have the evil stepmother thing going on. I'd rather avoid that one altogether, too. It's, I feel like I really dodged an arrow on this one. You look the place. Is there anything of note or interesting of note here? You the see boat? dangling uh, far, far above you, uh, met by a, a circular hole. Uh, there seems to be a rope, about thirty rope. foot long, that leads from the ceiling of this little cove uh, to the ground. <laughs> from the ceiling? Anything at the top of that? It's hard to tell from down here. The light of the sun oh. is blinding your eyes. Want to head up back the way we came, or go up that rope? I prefer not to have to go up that damn rope. <laughs> okay. So she turns around and heads back the way that they came. Wait, uh, quick question. Does this... Since I did get a general tour, tour of this place before I got knocked the fuck out, uh, does, uh, this place have a well? <laughs> yes. Would this be in the general position of where the well would be? Are you a general relativist? <laughs> I am yes, making I am making an astute observation. <laughs> yes, you're correct. It is in fact a rope that leads up to the well. Okay. It's like uh, I don't think climbing up out of the well in the courtyard be a 
good idea. Nah, probably not a good look. Mm. Okay, so... Could just say you're well, Inspector. Welfare <laughs> Inspector. So you head back up through the dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. You come through the dungeon, and where we'll cut from you is you find that the prisoners have been freed. Blinks. <laughs> Confusion. Well, I was going to free them when we got back up here, but... <sighs> we may not have much time. <laughs> no. I think I'm going to keep my armor on. <laughs> when she was thinking about putting the armor... It taking the armor off and everything once they got back here, but uh <laughs> Good stopping point right there. Let's finish it off with this. So, uh you Nixie and Boros and Jonathan now have all caught uh the prestigious already forgot his goddamn name. Lek. Lek Lek Lek. Lek, as he seems to be making a uh, a quick escape over this circular room. But you say, It's me, Fish. And the very stony, very, very, again, morose glare turns quickly to you. And you can see it melt away in an instant. It's still quite nice. stern, but you can see that he, he seems to be a lot warmer. Fish. Fish. You're here. <laughs> Bearing tidings, and she, uh, <laughs> she kind of struggles to lift up the barrel and, and bring it over to him, and she's like, uh, it had a, a stowaway in it. It was once wine, but I, I thought you should have it anyway. Probably don't drink it, though. He, he takes the barrel in hand. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's looking down to it, uh, just kind of looking at the, 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 the drippings of wine that are left. Uh, he takes a small dollop. He, he, he dips his finger into it and, and takes a, a quick taste. God, that's foul. Mm. And uh, there's a dude. <laughs> there's a dude fucking marinating in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bath water wine. Gamer Lech, girl wine. Lex <laughs> Lech says nothing, but I'd like a I'd like a, a very easy perception check. Can I find where that is? Oh, there we go. Anyone in the rooms? Of the I, no, 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 never mind. Just Nyx. Uh, somehow that passes. You're able to see... It, it's very hard to see. Or rather, it's not very hard to see, given how pale he is. Uh, but you can see his cheeks just turn a, 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 a slight shade redder. You all right there? Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. It's good you're uh, here. I uh, hear you getting married. That's very exciting. Yes. I think. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> good to know he's as hesitant about it as, <laughs> as, <laughs> as <laughs> it is. And that's it. He just stares, looking at you silently. Yeah, okay. She was, uh... So, why you only think you're getting married, then? Hmm. This is the perfect time for me to intervene. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Minos. How does he look at me? Sense motive. Is it... Yeah. For sure. I, fucking I like the initiative dice. Like, I'm gonna make like this easy. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this pretty easy or very hard. It's hard to tell with sense motive. You know the deal. Fifteen. It's decent. You are both veterans, esteemed veterans. 
He gives you one glance, but you can tell in an instant. It's he looks at you as an equal. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm looking respectfully. Yeah, no, no, like like he well like when he looks at you, he meets you in the eye. It does not waver. He doesn't look at the rest of your body. He's not trying to appraise you as a, as, as a bull. He's not looking at you like these others have looked at you. No disdain, no contempt. You're not even looked at as like an object or a product or even a curiosity to him. You are, as he would look, uh, as a commanding officer would look to a soldier. Mm-hmm. Then he earned this. I'm going to tell you this. You do not need to believe me. Uh, you can have me killed, I do not care. Your mother plans to kill you. I know. Uh, wait, uh, <laughs> Nyx <laughs> is having a whole ass adventure over here by herself. She's like looking over to Boros and she's shocked. She's like ready to fight someone. And then when he says, I know, she looks over <laughs> to him and she's like, Double shock, just kind of like spinning around the room, like what is going on? Are you going to do something about it? He thinks a minute. Because if you get me a meal and a sword, I'll do it for you. No. To what? Leave while you can. Things are too hectic here. You What's should go going to fish. On? I. Are you just. Uh, um. What? It was good to see you. Excuse me. Wait, wait, just. If I let you go right now. Or, no, no! <laughs> okay! If I let you go right now, no. You... <laughs> Are you following him? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say stuff in front of people. Uh... <laughs> Meanwhile, Boros is like, I'm fucking out of here. If you leave right now. Are you gonna be alive the next time I see you? Yes, I think. All right. Okay. Poof. Uh, That's not good. Poof. Uh, do you need? Do you need? Okay. <laughs> do, you, do, do you need help? Or are you are you good? I, I'd help. Follow the bull. Okay. Yeah, he seems nice. He's got a good. Good chatting with you. <laughs> Thanks for taking the barrel. <laughs> she leaves. Uh, a a as as you look away, he holds the barrel. Pick sticks another finger in. Oh God! She goes up to to Jonathan and goes, like, uh, "Hey, uh, hey, where'd Boros go? The tall one." He didn't close the door, so that's just wide open. Uh, hmm, tall, tall. Is there any other uh features about him I could that could help me uh place? She looks at him, raises her eyebrows, and says, No. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, you mean the Minotaur? The Minotaur is outside. Front door? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, she's gonna head out. I was like, I'm guessing these guards are coming up. Yeah, uh, however, Aethwald pops out of the snow. You can see that his skin is almost pink and purple. But in his hand... Two swords. Wordlessly, Nixie, and uh, I guess Jonathan by proxy, just because you're kind of standing out there. Does Jonathan go that way? He's he's around. Uh, the guards. He's about to hear. The two soldiers wordlessly pull out swords and begin to approach you. You just take it from him. Come we take started. our freedom. He's <laughs> like, we take our freedom, brother. Always the plan. No, I didn't do it. Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan's like, nah, I'm going Fuck the this. other fucking way. Oh, man. He's got his own shit that needs doing. Bro, we about to make the hell of a scene. 
and we about to die gloriously. Jonathan doesn't know what the fuck's going on. That's that's the main issue here. No, I don't think but, anybody has the clue. God, we are ten minutes over time. Yep. It's it's been pretty good. Now let's kill some guards. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, say, don't yeah. worry, don't worry. Do not worry. I'm about to speed this up. What is what kind of sword is this? PB uh, speed run. Two long swords. You can see that they seem to be rusty and, 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 and decrepit. But if you look very carefully, you can see that these seem to be some grave markers standing around. Uh, it is ah. a it is a thrally tradition for a warrior to be buried with their sword. You can assume the rest. Okay. I'll uh, just throw my token on there real quick. Yep. Let me do that. Uh, Don't fucking, worry, I though. Trying to do it on the wrong screen. These guards about to come join us in sobbing, guy. And your, I'm guessing this is your personal theme now. But Nixie, as you come in and uh, you see the fight, and I guess you're going to immediately hop in. All right. Yeah. Uh, All you, right. You may want to change your, uh, Nixie, you may want to change your uh, initiative there. No, it's the right one. I had to change okay. it. I, I uh, had to reroll because I didn't click it. All right. So one of these guards got to 17. There we uh, go. This guard at the top seems to be very formidable, too. Sh lunges. Why is he going for me? How rude. Oh, because you're the big intimidating one. <laughs> These Man, guys I'm gonna are go a little bit more heavily armored, so keep that in mind. I'm going down immediately, so... Because I have no fucking... Does 11 hit? Yes, because oh, I have a minus one to my dex, because I'm a minotaur. He's a big boy, oh, and I have shit. no armor. Short sword, three damage. No, I'm not dead. Oh, that's not th short sword and shit. Uh, ah, fuck it, keep it. I don't care. <laughs> it's a real short dagger-sized sword. <laughs> the shortest sword. He grabbed his dagger instead of his sword. He was in a panic. We are going to try our best, and our best is going to fail us. Uh, yikes! God, I can't believe your fucking thing from the. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my re. Uh, say we got a reroll, right? One. You have you each have one. Go ahead. Fuck it. There we go. Fourteen. Does that hit? Fourteen. Uh, these guys are more heavily armored, but they also have pretty low decks. Fourteen doesn't hit. Uh, however. That doesn't matter, as fucking homeboy over here is going to uh, play distraction, and you'll get one off anyways. Uh, so Eighthwald's right. gimmick is he just makes stuff work. Nice. Only ev only every now and again. All but right, I nice. So one D eight. He throws plus. snow into his eyes, and your your cut goes clean. One D eight. Plus. Hell yeah, six. combat aid. What a bro. And he hit me, so that goes up, so that's seven. Alrighty. Seven damage? Uh, Ooh. he takes eight. Oh, damn. Because I can't roll. Bad damage, but you did a you did an absolute number on him. Nixie, you see these soldiers are assaulting this fucking people. Thank God that the curtains are down here and here. Sorry, I think you cut out at the end. The curtains are down in front of these two windows, so nobody's watching this. Okay, nice. Good. Excellent. Um, I am going to... Oh, let's snowball a bitch. Let's snowball a bitch. Vinny, I do this every week. This long, every week. Ooh. I know, I know. I love you. Snowballs. So, uh, how about that hot six? How's, oh, how's that, that go for me? No. That ain't hitting. That ain't hitting. <laughs> Jack or shit. Unfortunate. Uh -oh. <laughs> give me a chance. She's gonna stay right there. <laughs> this guard is going to swipe at our boy Aethelwind. Here's the crit. Oh. A whiff. Aethelwind just darts back. You see him hop back in the snow. He's still blue and fucking looking terrible, but he's going to uh, make an attack himself. Clean. And he strikes the one that uh, you struck 
and brings him down. Okay. Man's got jumps. He's dead. This guard is go. going to. Uh, he's going to attack Aethelwind after that uh, that flourish. No, he's dead. Oh, is that the one that died? Oh yeah, it was. What the yeah. fuck am I on about? Burus. Alrighty. No, I'm not gonna risk that. So I'm just going to swing. There we go, and it's a long sword. Isn't that potential? No. Crit. Nope. 1920. 19. I'm so sorry. On a long sword? Yep. Yeah. Long, long sword was 1920. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> rapiers and sabers and oh, scimitars. Sorry. Even yeah, so, it's a hell of a fucking roll. It's gonna hit him regardless. Oh, yeah. there you go. And you there we go. Describe it. Didn't yeah. need to be a crit. Oh no, I'm gonna run that straight through him, and I'm gonna hold him too. <laughs> I wanna make sure he feels every inch of that. And the soldier falls limply into the snow, a red stain appearing beneath him. What were these boys packing? They had short swords. <laughs> they had uh, hide. Oh, well, these guys. I have to actually go look because I didn't I didn't stat them. Oh, uh, for Astrid and um, Alan again. And if you guys are thieves, uh, old Tom had ten gold pieces on him. I ain't taking little Tom's gold. <laughs> I'll take what the else? gold off the guards I killed though. Uh, that we yeah, killed they, though. Yeah, they they have ten gold each. All guards have like ten gold. Easy. Okay, like, ten, ten gold ten for gold, me. Ten, ten gold. gold for you. <laughs> These guys are wearing breastplates. Oh, <laughs> I'm struggling that bitch on. It's a, it's they a tough breastplates and short. They have breastplates and short swords and uh, light wooden shields. Light wooden shields. Do I? Nah, I'm not going to pick up that shield. What Makes I am going to do is look... murder a murder some guys. Oh yeah. That felt right. Eli. Wait, no, not Eli. El uh, Ali, there is. Ali. Oh, we can go. But before we do it, we killed that bitch. You are sure one to hold a grudge. All right. Let's kill Just that bitch. Just check it. Just make it. We're not talking about me right now, right? No, no. You, you're oh, fine, good. girl. I was I was told to follow Boros, so I'm just gonna. Uh, if you don't mind me joining, seems like these guys had it coming anyway. That's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> the funniest thing is these dudes had it not coming at all. <laughs> they died for no fucking reason. No, <laughs> they could have uh, let it go. Uh, no, not they. You get the distinct impression they were not following you because you were two escaped slaves. Oh. They were very <laughs> deliberate and very intentional in, in, in trying to approach you and kill you the moment you got out that door. Oh, sweet. Oh, well, it's time to make do. <laughs> but All I right. believe is, it is. <laughs> is there any any passing reference? Any passing speech that anybody wants to do? Uh he's gonna look to fish. Follow at your follow at your own peril yeah all right sounds like it's peril inside or out okay and i'm just gonna make sure i get this off before we stop uh, he puts and he puts lead blades on that weapon on that sword the last thing that you all can hear is the sound of a bell one of alarm or one for the wedding <laughs> too bad the bride's missing <laughs> <laughs> yeah the bride's like yeah <laughs> Brad's currently elbow deep in a man's pockets. All right, that's it. Boy, this is about I to need be to, a I need to know one, one of many. I need to know one thing before we go. His reaction at the fact that his his door is barred by a dresser. Do we we leave the a black, ignoring it and descending down into the dungeon? How did he get through the door? Is what we're saying. We barred it with the with the dresser. He's a war hero. He probably busted in the way he did, too. Use, use your imagination. It's a Wait. child's dresser. He lightly kicked the door, and it just moved over. Yeah, but I just want to know what his reaction was. Like, 
What the? F what? Nah, I want to know like what his reaction like to seeing old. No, I want to know what his reaction was to seeing old Tom tied up yeah. in his fucking bed. <laughs> yeah, that saying. too. You're right, actually. Now that I think about it, uh, Tom is freed. Down, I'm going to give his sword back the next time I see him. <laughs> yeah, we like old, old Tom. Old yeah. Tom was like, your wife, and he was like, ah, oh, alright, bye. <laughs> that, that was a marathon even compared to the, uh... Even compared to the, the solo sessions, first session in, lots of role play, fucking tons. I don't know who managed to, to stay for that long, but if you did, kudos. Very Gibby good. did a pretty good job. We, we've had the same consistent level of viewers through the entire thing. How many? Uh, 11 Ten. constant, and I think some people flipping it Damn! Out. Nice. Damn, I thought I mean, I, so more than 10. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Half of those are us. Well, yeah, but we also have some other people. Uh, there's some names that I've not seen here before. I like. Oh, shout out to XX Gibby underscore Gamer XX for hanging out for so long. Being yeah, thank Cortana. You. <laughs> but uh, can I recommend a raid if we're ending? Uh, I mean, yeah, but you, sir, you, show me that after we close off the stream. But uh, how, how, how's everybody like it? Is it good? Is it bad? How's my jamming? It's first time. I, it doesn't mingle with some. Does more mothers? What happened? It's good. That's it. Got some. Got some stuff to put down, but do not want to do it on the stream. Okay. I swear to Can God, I, I did not know the bit? secret passageway was right there. You gotta be. <laughs> yeah, we. Neither did I. I was just like, I'm just gonna take a twenty and look around the room. She was suspicious because of the fact that the door was locked. That's it. Like, why the fuck is this door locked? It's just his room. It's his child's room. Jonathan but, and Mayrock, you guys didn't get a whole lot of roleplay time. I'm sorry for not... You know, that's totally okay. I mean, like, it's really boring for me to be like, I'm gonna go rummage through rooms upstairs and stuff and do, like, the solo thing. When, like... There's so much, like, big Boros energy and people getting together to have their screen time. I'm happy to step aside and, and focus on the way more interesting parts of the story happening right now. By the way, Mayrock, I yeah. apologize for what's going to happen to you the next time we meet. No, man. It's all good. <laughs> I, I apologize, but he's going to probably <laughs> deck you something fierce. Oh, for sure, man. 100%. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that my man planned for that. Yeah, no, I'm 100% sure. But, but like... <laughs> he didn't call you an idiot without knowing where this is going. I am not even care about the idiot. It's the open up the door. Hey, the yeah. slave in here acting rowdy. Yeah, yeah. 100%, yeah. yeah. I don't care about the insults. It's the snitching rules. You gonna no, snitch? Man, I, I, fucking, I thought about it before we made that choice. All good. I'm, I'm happy to take whatever consequences happen. Don't you worry about me it, one bit. It, if in, in only in slightly in his defense, it did in fact get him into the room that he was looking for. No, it got him what he needed to get him. And that's for we have well, walked down the hallway and opened the door. Like... <laughs> like, hmm. Boros would leave, man. Boros would leave. No go, but fucking... She, she she pushed too many buttons, and then too many buttons got pushed on top of that. No, we're we'll gonna be spending to more time me. here anyway. So, uh, you, you, actually, you guys couldn't run away. There's 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 some some things that you'll find very quickly are preventing your your passage if you wanna just skip out. I've got plenty of details in this little book. I'm gonna rob a lady. I'm gonna, I'm. I'm going to crash my own wedding and start killing the guests, apparently. <laughs> I, I didn't think it would get this bloody. Uh, Here we are. It's like the fucking red wedding. I, I need four, I have four, four guards people. already dead. <laughs> I have four people I need to talk to. Thank you very much for everyone who's been watching. If you're not followed already, please go ahead and give a follow. Uh, it means uh, the absolute world to me in my constant state of delirium as I try to edit this, this bastard of a thing. Uh, Thank you, Vinny, for preparing this new UI again. What's this, number three or number four? Uh, thank you to Justin for the map. Thank you to Steel for also getting me some maps. And uh, fuck the rest of y'all. Hey! Right. hey. Uh, I'm going to do our, our sign off. I want you guys to, uh, let's see. You all, you're all old Tom saying goodbye. 
I'm not chilling. Do it. Yep. Goodbye, everybody. Everybody wants. Oh, Come on. God. Have a good Goodbye. night. Goodbye. I, I can't do old man.